Amen. Thank God for our first lady, Wyndham. Amen. Amen. Pastor Wyndham. Thank God for our minister, Casey Thomas. Thank God for Minister Casey and his absence. Thank God for our intercessors. Thank God for everybody that's here. Those that cannot make it tonight, we thank God for them and those that may be on their way. And most of all, we thank God for Jesus. Come on, give God. Give him the biggest round of applause. Everybody should put on their feet for him. Oh, come on, he deserves it. He deserves an ovation. Amen. 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 And we thank God tonight. Let's go dive straight into this word. Amen. Thank God for the word of God. I can't make it without this word. I got to have it. Amen. I got to eat it every day. I got to find something to eat on every day. Amen. That's how my faith becomes strong. Amen. It comes strong by hearing the word. And hearing does not only mean listening, but hearing also means obeying. Amen. He, that, uh, he said, well, faith come by hearing. Not only listening, but obeying what you heard. You got to obey it. Faith comes through yeah. obedience. Yeah. And that's why a lot of us is not getting getting it because we're not obeying what we hear. When you obey it, it breeds faith. Faith, you gotta have faith in it before you do it, but more faith is released after you do it. Amen. Faith come by hearing, and hearing come by the word of God. You won't know what to do if you don't hear the word. You won't know how to obey God without the instructions. Amen. So I thank God. First, let's go to 1 Corinthians. Amen. And then we're going to go to the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. First Corinthians, chapter 10. Let's begin reading in verse 1 down to 14. The Bible said, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized under Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All did eat the same spiritual meat all did drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Amen. But look at now, listen, he delivered them from out of bondage, Pharaoh's bondage. He rescued them, he freed them. But look at verse 5. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. God saved them out of bondage. But they got over into the wilderness and displeased God. Don't think because you're saved you can't displease God. The Bible says it was overthrown. Look at verse 6. Now these things were our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be idolaters. In other words, it meant worshiping something more than you worship God. Giving something else more attention than God. Running faster to something uh, than you run faster to God. Amen. That's, a, that's idolatry. you loving your husband or wife more than you love God. Y'all quiet over here. That's an idolatry. Idolatry. That's, that's, that's uh, uh, um, idol worship. He said, neither be idolaters as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down yes. to eat and drink and rose up to play. Oh, it wasn't nothing. Everything was fun and games. Right. Neither let us commit fornication yes. as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand people. God killed that many people in one day. Now this is New Testament. Folks say that's Old Testament, but but this he said this is for our example. If we do these things, the same thing could happen to us. 
Because he's given us an example of what can happen when you disobey God. Neither let us tempt Christ. And some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye. Oh man. And some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. We don't think murmuring is a sin. Complaining. Expressing your dislikes about stuff. They was destroyed over a complaining spirit. Mm. Now all these things happen under them for examples. And they are written for our admonition. Or admonition means for our warning. Upon whom the end of the world will come. Which is upon us. The end of the world has come upon us. So we really got to keep it right. We got to keep this thing together. Because the end of the world is upon us. And so wherefore let him that thinketh he stand. Take heed lest he fall. You say you standing. Let's make sure you're standing for real. Woe unto him that desire the day of the Lord. You, you ready for the Lord to come? Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're standing like you say you're standing. Watch this in verse 13. There had no temptation taken you, but such as is common unto man. Some tem these temptations are common. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted of all that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to burn. So there's no such thing that I'm a man at the end of the day and I'm going to fall. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm going to fall every day and you're going to fall. But he just told me he will provide a way to escape. Y'all quiet on me. I can't. I cuss a little bit. You cuss a little bit. We all cuss a little bit. I just read it provides a way. He provides a way to escape a cussing mouth. Oh, it's quiet already. He provides a way to escape watching the pornography. Oh, I guess y'all. Wherefore, my beloved, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. So these are people that God delivered. And turned around and destroyed them. Because of misbehaving. Uh -huh. Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Verse 7 down to 14. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 down to 14. He said, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. As in the provocation, in the day of temptation. There we go. In the wilderness. We just read that, didn't we? When your fathers tempted me, me and sold my works 40 years. 40 years, come on. We just read out a while ago, he, he, he just destroyed them. Come on, my God. They, they made him angry, he overthrew 23,000. Wow. Right. In one day. Come on, it's Bible. Bible, come on, my God. Look at verse 10. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always err in their heart. Come on, preacher. Not their actions. Hey, come on, real. In their heart. Come on. And they have not known no my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren. Uh -huh. Lest there be any of you an evil heart uh -huh. of unbelief in departing from the living God. God. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness. Oh man, the deceitfulness of sin. Wow. Deceitfulness. 
sin could harden your heart. Come on, man of God. But the thing about sin is the sin. People, come on, preacher. You could be sinning and you know it's wrong. Really? But you get so used to it, you come harden to it. Real? Come on, man. you God. feel it's okay now. Okay. That's the deceitfulness. Wow. I preach this thing. Of sin. For we all, for we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our conf confidence steadfast unto the end. Uh, let's read verse 12 one more time. Uh -huh. Take heed. Didn't that, when he said, brother, this is not talking about the world. Hey, hey. Come on, pastor. You don't, you don't call the world our Come brothers. On. Come on, preacher. Because we're not of them. Uh, right. Since we're not of them, uh -huh. we're not connected to them uh -huh. in any kind of fellowship. Come on, man, God. Amen. So he's talking about fellow brother. Uh -huh. fellowship. Yeah, yeah. He said, take heed. The word he means pay attention. Come on, man of God. Brethren, lest there be in any, in any of you. Wow. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Rip, come on. Uh, okay. In departing from the living, the living God. Ooh. Now, when you look at the word unbelief, that oh. word means you lack in confidence. In the power of God. Uh -huh. Come on. You're not relying on the power of God. Come you're on. not trusting in the power of God. Come on, so now you've got a spirit of unbelief, uh -huh. which leads to a, 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 a departure from the, from the living God. I, I got up early yesterday morning, very early, with my baby back there, little, little baby, granddaughter. Uh -huh. And I was up early and, and I was sitting on the couch and put her to sleep. And, a word fell in my spirit. Oh, my a word fell. And the Lord, I was just sitting down praying, and the Lord just ministering to me about some of the saints, and I'm listening. Mm -hmm. okay. But after he started ministering, a word Fair. fell in my spirit. Amen. And this word that fell in my spirit was a word called relapse. Oh! Relapse. Come on, man of God. Relapse. Rip, come on. I say yes. He said a lot of the saints is relapsing. And my thought tonight is don't relapse. Come on, man of God. When you look at the word relapse, come on, man of God. Relapse is to is to to fall or slip back into a former state. To relapse to relapse is the act of backsliding. Deteriorating and worsening. Wow. The, the root word for relapse is lapse. Okay, man, God. Lapse. You heard the word lapse. It means a failure. Uh huh. Uh, uh It's a term. It, it, it means. I'm sorry. A lapse is a temporary failure of concentration, uh -huh. memory, and judgment. Okay, come on, man, God. And a lot of saints. Judgment is off spiritually because they are relapsing back into former sins that God has broke them out of. And so I looked at verse 13. He said, Take heed, brother and sister, be any of you. Any of you. Any. Of you. Any. Come on. Any man of God. Of an evil heart of unbelief. Unbelief, man of God. Departing from the living God. The living God. So the question is what is the source of backsliding? Whoa. Unbelief. Well. Man of God, come on. When you stop relying on God to keep you from falling, well, you fall back into sin. Faith is relaxing because of a spirit of unbelief. Come on, man of God. Let me tell you what they do believe. They believe that preachers are anointed. They believe in coming to the prayer line. Uh -huh. They believe in reading their Bible. Uh -huh. But they're not believing in God on, to keep them safe. Watch this. And they're not believing in God to help them with their everyday bad habits. Come on, man of God. Come on. And so instead of relying on God in the hour of 
temptation. Come on, preacher. They just give in to it because they stop believing and trusting in the power of God, which was which is able to provide a way of escape. They don't want the way of escape because they don't believe. Wow. So therefore, since that heart of unbelief is not right, Man of God. the Bible said that they are departing from the living God. Man. Now watch this. Do you wonder why you're not seeing the manifestation of blessings and you're not seeing your body healed? You're not seeing miracles happen. It's because of unbelief. Because I read it in uh, Matthew 14, 21. The Bible said he did not many mighty works there because of the unbelief. Unbelief will cut you off from the miracles. It will cut you off from your deliverance. It will cut you off from your feeling. Whenever you depart from God, you have departed from the source of your breakthrough. And you got folks sitting in church, coming to church, carrying Bibles. Y'all have to like that on your camera. Lifting their hands up to the worship music. But they got a heart that is departing from the Lord. They are relapsing before they got to church. They practice it in relapsing. They're going back to the ungodly music. Going back to the holy songs. Going back. I can't get nobody. Still got cravings to drink again. Still got cravings to hold monk again. Still got cravings to leave your husband. Still got a craving to leave your wife. Ah, you are real Come on, spirit of unbelief is causing you to relapse and deteriorate in your walk with God. Oh, God, and I was down, I was up praying. And, and, and before I knew it, this word fell in my spirit because he said they he said they wonder why they can't get no demons off their lives. They wonder why the devil is still up on them like he is. He said because of your unbelief. Because he said in Matthew 17 and verse 11, I'm sorry, verse 19, the disciple asked Jesus, why could we not ask him out? He said because of your unbelief. How be it this kind come out by nothing but plain fashion? He said the reason why the devil still got a handle on them because they got a heart of unbelief. The reason why they still got a bad attitude because they got a spirit of unbelief. Ah, the reason why they're going backwards and they can't rebuke no devil is because of a spirit of unbelief. He said, how be it this kind coming out got nothing but prayer and fasting. But wait a minute. And, and it's deeper than this because not only can they not cast the devil out because they departed from God, but I heard the Lord say even, this friend of my spirit of ministration, he said, even after the day they went without food, the days they went without food from fasting, they are still relapsing. Because they tried to fix the flesh. Now listen, listen. They tried to fix the flesh to be obedient to God. But their heart remained unfixed and unattended to. Their heart of unbelief and departed from God was not dealt with. They put the body on the altar, but they never fixed that heart. And he went on to tell me. He said they put the they put the flesh in a position to where that departing heart should have been. You put your flesh at the altar, but your heart should have been there. Your heart was departed from me. When you fasted, your heart was apart. Why did you come off your fast? You're still mean. You're still argumentative. You're still debatable. You're still messy. Why did you that fast? It fixed your flesh. And when it came off, they realized You're right, I didn't have the faith to rebuke no devil because your heart didn't go with your fast. That heart didn't go with that fast. He said, because when you fast, unbelief got to come out. Um, when you fast for real, when it's a God ordained fast, unbelief, the faith going to come with that. 
And when you tell the devil's loose or said it, you gotta loose his hope. But I mean, God said, listen to this. I don't care how you fast. I don't care how you pray. If your heart is departed from me, I'm not giving you no power that fast. You gotta make sure your heart is right. Bob, before you go that fast, Lord, I'm asking you, Lord, cleanse my heart, God. Let me tell God, reveal to me who I need to apologize to. What I gotta say, I'm sorry to. I don't want to give you a sacrifice. And my heart is departed from the living God. Watch it. Get no help over here now, Lord. He said they all be lapsing. How did you fast that long and you came off relapsing like that? How you relapsing? I mean, immediately going back. Nothing changed. Nothing got no better. Why can't you go by the tree? You actually look like it got worse. Now, why? Because your heart wasn't really in it. I can't hear nobody here now. I'm not fasting because of the fun in it. I'm not fasting because of say I'm fasting. I'm not fasting because God, I need more of you. I need more. I need more power. I cast out devils. I burn this trash. I gotta draw closer to ya. Come on, preacher. Whoa. The party from God. Well, because of an evil heart. A hungry. Wow. I hear the Lord saying they can believe me to help them to fast, but they can't believe wow. me to help them a little right after the fast. Come on, you can, you can trust God to help me go 3, 4, 5, 10, 12, 15 days, but you can't help me. You can't trust me to help you live holy 365 days. Oh, for you, that's a sign. You set your heart not in it. I'm not saying, boy, you are the light, but I come to tell somebody. You will not relax at all, shit. But that's a relaxing saints living in the church. They're going backwards. I'm not shocked. You're going backwards. Come on, man, God. Well, I know many, it's not many mighty works been done, been done in our lives because it's too much unbelief. You got the church protocol down. You got the jerk in the move down. But that heart is still full of dead men's heart. That heart is still full of viper venom. But I get a witness up in here. It's still mean man around a snake. I can't hear nobody. Ah, that fast can I help you? Because your heart has to point. But I get a witness up in here. Unbelief. Come on, preacher. Unbelief. There's yeah. evil in you. Says evil. That's an evil thing in you. When you stop trusting God to help you live holy. When you stop leaning on God to help you to break these bad habits. Oh God, I need God to help me more. Help me more than to stay away from food. Help me to stay away from HBO and help me to stay away from a lust. Help me to stay away from watching naked folks on the TV. Help me, Lord, to stay away from ungodly music. Help me, God, to stay away from ungodly people. I need more than just saving from food. When the food, when the past is over, I'm not gonna live after that. I need some help. To keep my heart full of faith and trust. It's impossible to please God without faith. Without faith, and some folks, your faith has gotten raggedy. Your faith, you ain't pleasing God. You still in your flesh, God said it. You still in your flesh. I can't get no help from that. You still in your flesh. Is still the same. Woo! Is evil heart? Yes. Any of you, any evil heart of unbelief, but God, they, they still in church. It don't matter. Wow. Because you can bring your heart everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, your heart going with you. Whether you in church or outside church, your heart is still with you. You can be sitting in this church and your heart is gone from it. You can be sitting in this church and you're already contemplating leaving the church. You're already sitting in this church and you probably won't even come to church because your heart is evil, said the Lord. You got an evil heart. Come on, somebody. You can be sitting there shouting and dancing and moving to the music and your heart is already departed from the Lord. And God I don't want no praise. If you can't get, allow me to help you through the day. Why are you praising me tonight? You ain't got no victory tonight. Why are you worshiping? You ain't got no victory. Victory only comes through Christ. I can do all things through Christ. That's strength is me. But I'm connected to Christ. You give me the strength to say no to what I should be saying.
But they relapsed it. Rev, you own it, preacher. Come on, man of God. They relapsed it. Well, it's power in that cross. They relapsed it. Come on, man of God. See, willpower can go so fast. Hey, that's it. You can act good for a while. Yeah. real. But if that heart is the part. For real, you will come back up again hey, hey, after a while. Hey, hey. Oh, God, can't get nobody here in the middle. Oh, wait a minute now. See, if I'm belief when you're tell you, I, I like this here. Because let me tell you, you can't praise God with your own pastor. But you whipping them hands with a visiting pastor. It ain't real heart. Come on, somebody. Here. See, when it's real heart and it's real holiness, you gon' back everybody up. I can't get nobody here. I don't put on the log in your own church, but you went to everybody that comes to the church and raise your hand that you've been sanctified. Your heart ain't right. Bring the word, man of God. That's an unbelieving heart. Bring the word, preacher. Don't believe in your pastor. Don't believe in what he's preaching. Don't believe in the anointing. I can't get nobody here now. Oh, you laughing, baby. That's how it's happening. You relaxing back in the old ways. I can't get nobody here. You relaxing. Oh, that flesh is crazy. The Lord spoke a word to me. And the Lord said, don't matter how they look. If somebody in this house, you got to struggle with your flesh. And I've been feeling it for the whole week, Sister Linda. They got a battle going on in the flesh. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Y'all better shut up. Your flesh is giving you fit. They try to bring your back out. You gotta suck it. Throw your flesh. And God said, I can tell you. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And open your eyes open. To what you're looking at. It's gonna be a struggle. Man, I got preach. Preach it. Boy, okay. Well, I got a number word for you tonight. I got nothing but word for you tonight. Hey, that's it, man. That's where the struggle is. Come on. Uh, it's been going. I've been hearing it all week in the spirit. I cried this cry, sister Lynn on me, sister Lynn, this cry on me. I can't get no help back there, first lady. You got a flesh that'll be on hold. And we try to disguise it and hide it. But you can't hide it in the prison of the Lord. Can I get a witness up in here now? Oh, that flesh gotta be nailed, baby. That flesh gotta be nailed to the cross. Oh, come on, let me tell you what's going on. We got too many free Christians. I guess we got too many free Christians. What do you mean by free? And when I see you walking around everywhere, but a Christian that's not free is nailed to the cross. My hands is nailed, I can't touch what I want to touch. My feet is nailed, I can't go where I want to go. I can't get nobody here alive. I'm never been in a position I can't move. I can't watch what I want to watch. Come on, nailed to the cross. But when you can't run off your cross, when you stop burning your cross, you don't be laughing back. You always set the Lord. I come to tell ya. Relapse. After all that sold out and it's relapsed. I can't hear nobody. I, I was serving Brother Robert. I told him, I said, Brother Robert, listen here. I said, I got to live the way I do on my fast when I come off of it. I got to live like I did on the fast. Hey. But on my fast, I didn't watch everything. Hey. On my fast, I didn't go to work. But I got to witness when I come off the fast. And I got to live like I did when I was hurting. The only difference now is I'm like, I'm eating. That's the only difference I'm eating. Off the fast. But on the fast, I was consecrated. I got to stay consecrated. But I got to witness. I got to witness. If I live one way on the fast and another one out, it was a religious duty. It was religion and it was dead. And I could have witnessed something and it was dead. If that fast didn't work on my heart, if God didn't change my heart, on my fast, I didn't do it right. If demons are not coming subject, it is no 
When your heart is right, you want to ignore me when you see me in public. Come on, somebody, when your heart is right, come on. That's a connection. I don't care if we didn't see you. I don't care if we didn't see you. My God, I don't care if we didn't check your cheese. So come on, shut up. That's hard work. I'm going to win you. I'm going to win you. I'm going to win you. is deteriorating. The seeking God is deteriorating. The love is deteriorating. Oh, y'all better hear what I'm saying. Lord, your vote, God, I don't want your hallelujah. We have disrespected my people. I don't want your praise. And you know you offended somebody. And you won't get that thing straight with them. God said, leave your sacrifice at the altar. As he said, leave it right there. And go to your brother be reconciled. I can't hear nobody up in here, bro. I think I'm in the wrong church tonight for a minute. I think I'm coming too hard to talk to the You depart from your spouse. South. Wow. Yeah. Why you want to leave? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man of God. That's part of unbelief. Wow. You ain't going to have faith in God Come no on. more. Yep. To live holy every day. Every day. Every day. Oh, it's quiet on me here. Hey. Oh, that temptation come in. You ain't leaning on God. They're giving it to it. Because that's what they their flesh is craving for. Y'all yeah, like me. But I know what God told me to tell you tonight. He says a spirit of unbelief. It's a spirit of unbelief. It's a spirit of unbelief. It's a spirit of unbelief. And stop blaming the church for what you're not having. And what you're not getting. He said it's because of your unbelief. I could not do many mighty works. Not because of your pastor. Not because of your first lady. Not because of the church building. Not because of the lights. I can't get It's because of your unbelief. The reason you're discontent and ain't satisfied It's not the church It's not God It's your unbelief You don't believe that he's able To keep you from falling You don't believe that he was with God A good work in you It's your performing Until the day that Jesus Christ You don't believe He's waiting on the Lord For him to renew your strength You don't believe it Come on, man of God You don't believe you're going to do all things through Christ so they lapse it. Come on, preacher. They lapse it in judgment. Their judgment is off. Oh, but I heard him. I heard him tell me in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 5. Okay. He said, Remember from which thou art fallen. And repent. And do the first works, or else I will come quickly. And remove thy candlestick out of its place. Except thou repent. He said, Remember now how your heart slipped. Remember. Amen. For which you fall, remember what took you down out of your walk with God. Remember what caused your heart to depart from the living God. What is it? Who was it? What was it at? He 
He said, I need you to remember what's calling you to relax again. He said, I want you to remember the words God falling. So man of God, that's telling me they was once standing, but they fell. They slipped back in the stuff they came out of. He said, remember the words God was falling. Man of God, woman of God, remember. And after you remember, you said repent, you said repent, and do your first works. In other words, come all the way back, strip your heart, and tell the Lord, give me the right heart. I'm coming back to holiness. I'm coming back to church. I'm coming back to pride. I'm coming back to seeking you. I'm coming back to holiness. Repent and do your first words. He said it, man of God. Or else I will come quickly. And remove your candlestick. Remove and self I repent. God, I'm about to take some stuff from people. He's so about to remove some stuff out your life. Because you've been laying down too long, says the Lord. He said instead of repenting, they've been laughing. That's what he said they're doing. They're going back. They're not repenting. They're repeating. Wow. They're not away what they're repeating. The Lord's prayer. They're repeating the sinner's prayer. But they're not repenting of their sin. Wow. I can't get no help, baby. God said repent and do your first words or else. My hand is coming to I'm about to remove something from you. I'm about to remove something out your life. I'm going to show you, hallelujah. The thing I'm about to remove is the thing that caused you to fall. I got very hear what I'm saying. The people I'm about to remove is the people that caused you to fall. I'm about to remove you. I will, I'm gonna take your house. I take your car. I take your job. If your job is getting more out of you than me, get ready. I'm about to move on that thing. If your spouse is getting more out of you than me, get ready. I'm about to move on that spot. If your children are getting more out of you than me, I'm gonna make a more rebellious. I'm gonna show you can't tame them when you ain't disciplined. You cannot rebuke them when you ain't rebuked. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. He said, get it ready, get it ready. He said, go ahead and laugh back if you want to. I'm about to remove some stuff. Y'all better. Come on. Come on. Hey. Okay. Hey. All right. He don't lie. I know what I hear. Come on, man of God. Go ahead and keep relaxing. He don't lie. He said, I'm giving you a choice. The Lord said, either repent or suffer the consequences. Not repeat, repent. Come out of it. Turn away from it. Get your hands off of it. Can I get a witness? My God, can I get a witness? Up in this house, up in here, Lord. And let me tell you, see, nobody know you like your pastor. Because, see, you can put on a front before visitors. Like you so sold out and sanctified. See, the real binding comes when your leader see you. Because he know you. I can't hear nobody here. You can sit group and see like you want to. Yes, you want to. But I saw you Sunday. Come on. But I can't squat up in that boy. But I can only tell you the why. Because I know you. And God said that. What does that mean? You were done something at first right and you left it. He said it's time to come back to doing the first work. Could I get a witness? Y'all cry. He got turned. But God, I hear the Lord say, Sister Linda, they can't do their first work if they've never been delivered. If you've never been delivered in the first place, you can't do that first. Can I get a witness? Lord. Oh, he said when you was young, he said in your youth, Israel, you sought after me. In your young spirit, sought after me. More than you would have you found in me now. He said when you first got saved, your heart was dead. When you first got saved, it didn't take much for you to cry. 
and it take much for you to get open the word and change your life with it. When you first got saved, you said, Pastor, listen, correct me, rebuke me. I want to be right. But look at you now. You can't take a lick. You can't keep taking. You can't take correction. And God is saying, come back to your present love. They lapsed. Come on. He said they lapsed. Come on, preacher. They lapsed in judgment. Wow. And they lapsed in memory. Remember that, right? Right. And remember the relapse mean lapse? Yes, two and two and two. It makes a lapse in memory. Yes, it's a lapse in judgment. Uh-huh. He said, remember what I have found. He said, get that relapse out your spirit. Wow. And sit down and think about it. When did you get like this? Oh God, can I get a voice quiet manifestation? But I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. He said, you better come on back. You better come on back to me. I've done too much for you. For you to stay away from me like this. I pulled you out the drug house. I pulled you out the whole house. I pulled you out the whole house. I pulled you out the drive by students. Why you should have been dead. I tell you. I want you to remember where that unbelief came from. Wow. Oh, God. Wow. I can't hear nobody. Yeah. That devil ain't respecting nobody, ain't got no belief in God. He ain't respecting you. Come on, somebody. I'm oh, glad you're rebuking. Ta 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 ta. If you got enough, enough uh, faith to speak in tongues, you should have enough faith to live holy through the week. Can I get y'all got quiet on that king? But Brother Robert, I can't get no help back there, you uh, You got me? Okay, thank you. Come on, somebody, please, in the hurry up here, do it. He said, do your first works. He said, come on back and do your first works. What's your first work? It was brotherly love. Your love for the brother was so strong. Lord, I can't get no part of you. So when I came around you, I just felt the love. But I get a witness now. There's something else in you now. Your sister love was so strong. But everybody loved being around you. But we can feel a spirit on you now. A spirit of draw back. A spirit of get away. I'm trying to hide. God said, come back. God said, come back. I wish I could get some help. I wish I could get some help the way I feel it. I feel this thing is shining. I, 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 I got shot. He said, come back. Remember, well, who was our father? He said, remember. Remember wow. when your heart started departing. Wow. Go back to it. Don't have a memory lapse. He said the Holy Ghost will bring all things wow. back to your memory. Whatsoever I've told you. By God, I can't get no help. I, I know I'm going to get too much tonight, but, but I know I'm hitting the right word below. Hitting the right word that Come on. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. God says, stop lapsing. Stop lapsing. Stop lapsing. Stop going back. God said, you got to start tonight. Go home and don't relapse. Go home and don't relapse. Go home and destroy your phone. Go home and destroy the internet. Go home and destroy the characters you met off the internet. Y'all got caught over here. God said, go home and destroy the relationship that you got off the line. I can't get nobody here because the saint got no business being on the line to meet a date. Remember from what God has stolen. God said, we are wrong dead in services. You found a man or a woman. Remember what God has stolen. God said, repent tonight. Repent, repent, repent. For not trusting me. Repent, repent. Y'all better go. The heart is departed from me. Heart is gone. That's why I look like a, some people can't, you can't help. Because their heart is gone. Oh God, you lay hands on them. Oh God, you bind the devil. It just looks like it ain't working. It ain't working. Because their heart ain't in it. Oh, I can't get 
Shadaya Ato Shati Kopo. Ah, your heart ain't in it, baby. Love, I can lift your hands and tell the Lord. Ha. Give me the right heart, Jesus. Ha. Give me the right heart, my God. Ha. And I come to tell some of y'all. Ha. He's not giving you time. Ha. I'm giving you some space to repent. Ha. I'm giving you some space and some room to move. Ha. He's not telling you right now, I'm giving you space. Ha. I ain't took your breath out your body yet. Ha. But I'm giving you space. Ha. The car wreck should have killed you. Ha. But I'm giving you space. Ha. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Ha. The bad weather should have killed you. Ha. But I'm giving you space. Ha. The devil should have took you out in your sleep. Ha. Last night. Ha. But I'm giving you space. Ha. I'm giving you time. Ha. And get that heart on it. Ha. I'm giving you time. Ha. To remember. Ha. I'm giving you time. Ha. To do it over. I'm giving you time. Ha. To come back. Ha. To your fucking love. Ha. I'm giving you time. I'm giving you space. Come on, preacher. I'm giving you space. That's why I read in Acts chapter 17 and verse 30. He said, in the times of his ignorance, God winked at. Okay. But now God command all men everywhere to repent. Okay, he said, now time is up now. Come on. He said, I'm not giving you no more excuse for a bad spirit. I'm not giving you no more excuse to sound weak. God said, book the notion, I'm a babe. And do that stuff, I'm a babe. To excuse the undelivered area. He said, I don't care if you're a babe. I'm giving you time. I'm giving you space to repent. I'm not weakening at it no more. I command you to repent. But God, I love it. I command you to repent. I can't let go of it. I command you to repent. But God is hard. I still command you to repent. The Lord, you know how much they mean to me. I command you to repent. Of your relapsing. Come on, preacher. I'm not giving you too much more time. I'm not giving you the time. The excuse to say it's hard when I commanded you to do it. I command you to do it. That man say, "Be a work on time." He commanded you to do that. But God said, I give you a command, you take your time in it. But God gonna show you I'm greater than man. I'm greater than Caesar. Give unto Caesar what Caesar, give unto God what God. I'm gonna show you after a while I'm greater than I'm greater than Caesar. Can I get away? I can do more for you than Caesar can. Can I get away this Lord's cry? God said repent. Change your mind. Change your direction. Let it go right away. He's not saying listen. God I'm not hearing your prayer. About God weaning me off. God ain't weaning you off. He said I've commanded you. Listen. I've commanded man everyone to repent. That is an urgent call. It'll right now be. You got to do it now. You got to do it now. You got to do it now. You can't wait for a good feeling. You got to do it now. You can't wait till you feel goosebumps. You got to do it now. You can't wait till something changes. You got to do it now. It's an urgent call. Come on, man of God. That's urgency. Get your heart back. God said, bring your heart back to me. God said, bring your heart back to me. Come on, preacher. Oh, I feel, the, I feel revival. I see the preachers in the revival somewhere. Uh, he said, bring your heart back to me. Bring your heart back to me. Stop coming to church without your heart, but you're bringing your money. You're bringing your money, but you didn't bring your heart. You brought your Bible, but you didn't bring your heart. You brought your family, but you didn't bring your heart. But I did a witness so cry. You brought your notepad and your ink pen, but you didn't bring your heart. That heart wasn't right before you walked through the door. I can't get nobody here, Lord, shall listen. He said, you departed from me with your unbelieving heart. There was a time you trusted me for everything. There was a time my God didn't matter what was going on. I don't trust your God to be there. I don't trust your God with everything I got. I don't trust you with an offering. I don't trust you with my time. I don't trust you to help me to be on time. I don't trust you to help me get down and have a good spirit. I don't trust you. What happened to your God? Come on, 
commanding you now. He said, I command ah, yeah, 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 everywhere to repent. That's the urgent. Upon the land, preacher. Bring your heart back to me. Bring your heart, he said. Bring the heart. Bring your heart back to me. Bring back when there wasn't no pretense. It was truth. Truth, It was truth. Lord have mercy. It was truth. Oh, I don't want your fasting but that's your heart. I don't want your prayer but that's your heart. If you don't mean it, God said, if you don't mean what you say to me, don't say it to me at all. If you don't love me, don't say it at all. If you don't mean you love me, don't say it at all. God better hear me. If you say God, you're good. God said, listen, how you praising me, but you're living like I'm not real. How you praising me, but you're living like I don't exist. How you praising me, and you're living like I'm not a keeper. God said, save your praise. Get your heart right first. And then give me a praise. Man of God. Man of God, how you well, praise me? Wow. Come on, preacher. Come on, man of God. You, God said, listen, the way you know they re relapsed, because of will for sin. Oh. Will for sin. Oh. You're sitting and you know you're sitting. You're sitting and you know you're sitting. And then you bring all that junk to church, want to come through a prayer line and get it off you. God said, listen, say no, come off that church. Let's talk where you're at. I can't get your body. You got to repent where you are. What if you don't make it to church? What if God cut you off before you get to church? What if your space to repent had ran out before 7 p.m.? What if your space to repent ran out at 6 59? Can I get a witness here? What if it ran out at 6 58? Come on now. He said, I'm giving you space. I'm giving you space to stop looking and sinning. He said, He that committed sin is not the devil, but Satan, but he sinned from the beginning. He said, You sin not sinning, and you know it ain't right. You are of the devil. What he said, Your father is the devil. But I speak in tongues, you are the devil. You are the devil. <laughs> preach it! Preach it, man of God! Come on, preacher. Have that bubble here. Come on, real. Willful sin. Willfully. Man of God, talk about it, man of God. You know you shouldn't have said that. Right, preacher. Oh. Man of God, come on, preacher. You know you shouldn't have murmured against the church. Right, man of God. Come on, preacher. Come on. You know you shouldn't have complained to your family members. Because he killed them for murmuring. Oh, I can't get it's no money. He said, repent of your murmuring. It's a will for sin. Repent of your bitch being catty. Well. Just, just, just sad. It's bad. People just can't. It's messy. Well. Repent of your message. Hey. Call the folks on the papers, man, that God. Bad, bad, hey. Preach it, Pastor. Preach it, stand up on here, man. So you're lapsing back to willful sin. Come on, man, that God. I know what I heard last Come on, preach it. Willfully sin. And you, oh God. And every word you spoke, God was whooping you when you were sinning. But you didn't acknowledge him. You did not acknowledge the conviction of God when God was telling you to shut your mouth. You still was talking. God said, that's okay. I was giving you a chance to get this thing right to shut up. That conviction. Don't say that. Wow. Real. But because they are falling. Ah. Real. They not, they, since they've fallen, he said, remember from which thou hast fallen. Since they have fallen and have not repented. They did not quit the move at the conviction and prompting of the Holy Ghost. Because when you were standing for God, you moved fast. See, he said, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. See, I got to be standing to be ordered. I got my steps. See, I can't lay down and be ordered. I got to stand and walk. Come on. A lot of folks is not ordered by God because they are falling. You're staying right there where you are because you're falling. God's not ordering your steps. He's not ordering your steps. He's not making no ways. He's not making no breakthroughs. He's not sending you to all the wealth pills, all the health pills, all the blessings. Because you're laying in sin. Preach it, Pastor. Why he said in Hebrews chapter 10. 
In verse 26. Uh -huh. Come on, rep. And 27. Uh -huh. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Come on, preacher. There remains no more sacrifices uh -huh. for sin. Come on. Whoa. Come on. He said, if you will sin willfully after you heard the gospel. Oh. You practice the sin after you heard. My brother don't preach that word. He said, you've been taught. And some things you should know better than do. Come on, preacher. But see, you heard the truth. And you still willfully see. There are many no more sacrifices for sin. God said, I've died already. Jesus already died. That's it. You willfully sinning, you are in danger. Because there's not another sacrifice to cover that will for sin. Ain't dying no more for that willful sin you're doing. You in danger. You got the truth and you still sinning. You hear the word every time the door's open and you won't repent. Boy, I can't get no help up in there now. You in danger. Watch this. There remain no more sacrifice for sin. In other words, if you die like that, there's no sacrifice to cover you. That's no blood to cover you. Oh, it's quiet. I, I said it's quiet. Real, come on, man of God. It's relapsing. Relapsing. So when you start relapsing, you start whipping the sinner yeah. and ignore what you know is true. Hey. Wow. Real. Come on, man of God. Real. You know it's right to be submissive to your husband. You know it's right to love your wife as Christ loves the church. You know it's right to pay your tithe and offering. You know it's right to pray. You know it's right to seek God. You know it's right. But, I, but you won't. It's Woe unto them. That no, I remains no more sacrifice. Yeah. So in order, and for you to get under the blood of Jesus uh -huh. and from the cover that sin, you gotta remember where you have fallen yes. and repent yes. and get back under the blood. Yes. See, yes, there's no there's no blood covering you outside of repentance. Come on. You're not covered, you're not protected when you're willfully sin. You are exposed. God, Boy, I can't get nobody out. Come on, man, God. You expose every demon out there. Wow. Well, you keep practicing sin. Yeah. You're an open target. Come on, preacher. Come on, pastor. See, the blood covers me from exposure. But when I sin, I leave the protection. And I'm exposed to all kinds of dangers and habits. And, and, and influences, demonic influences. He said, but a certain fearful looking for judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversary. See, we got to understand, God is a God of indignation too. He's a God of judgment. And he's a God of indignation. And watch this, indignation means, indignation means the punishment seems more than the crime. Oh, it seems like it's not fair, God. I, I did that little bit by receiving so much. And so we say the way of the Lord is not fair. Come on, you can't say he said who can say the way of the Lord is not fair? His ways are not equal. God do what he want to do. Yes, the crime. The punishment is greater than the crime. That's why you don't win at the end. You won't win at the end. Your sin gonna make you pay harder than what you did. By the crime, the payment is gonna be worse than the sin you done. Y'all better that is indignation. Men of God, it's going to be great. You sit here, for example, committed adultery for 30 years of your life, and you died like that. But you got to suffer for an eternity for 30 years of sin. You died at 50, lived like the devil. You did everything under the sun. Them temporary 50 years gonna cause you an eternal damnation if you don't repent. So the, it, it's greater. Well, mm, mm, that's his indignation. Wow, man of God. And you mean to tell me you want to play with God no, by that spirit of unbelief causing you to depart and it's most comfortable with it? Well, come on. Well, it's an evil heart of oh, unbelief. Oh, evil. Wow. So God says, hi, hi, hi. He said it's evil. To let that spirit sit in you like that. Right. After all you experienced. Yeah. 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 Wow, man. I ain't gonna get too many lights on this one. Preach it, man, I got. But I got number one word. Hey, that's it, man, I got. 
nothing but Bible for you. That's it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord said, you know better. See? And watch this. If you know better, you ain't getting away. You sit in the church hearing this word. That's why, listen, I, I, I'm, I, 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 I kind of, when new members come in, uh-huh. I'm not really comfortable, but I'm glad. Because I, when I expose this word to them, they're accountable. Right. Wow. Now, now you, your life don't have to really line up now because you heard something that you didn't hear it first. And now that you know this, God ain't going to let you get away with this. You know too much to get away. He said, I'm calling you to repent right now. And he said, if you don't repent right now and you die like that, I'm not letting you get away. Boy, it's quiet on me. Wow. I ain't letting you get away. No too much now. He said, I ain't letting you get away. Come on, preacher. He said, you're going to have to suffer for your crimes. Because you knew more than the sinner hey, did. Rip, that's it. You knew more than that sinner did. And you living like them, but you doing more. Listen, you living like them, but you know more than them. Wow. Rip. That's why he said in Luke chapter 12 oh. and verse 47. Bible. Luke 12 47 said, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will wow. shall be beaten with many stripes. Rip, he knew. He knew. The servant which knew Rip. his Lord's will. Many stripes. And prepared not himself. Ooh. Neither did according to the Lord's will. Ooh. Shall be beaten with many stripes. Rip. Man, God. Rip. And you knew the Lord's will. Man, I never. Thought. And you didn't prepare your heart to even do what you did. Ah. The Lord said, Day's gonna come. Well, you got to reckon with the life you live. You got to deal with relapsing. You know too much now to say I can't get delivered. You gonna be beaten with many stripes. Wow! You've been here too long to say I'm offended now. God said that ain't gonna fly with me. He said I, the servant of God, told you what to do. God. And the scripture says, he that don't did he that didn't know no. but still done wrong shall be beaten with few stripes. So the more you know, the greater the punishment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Rip, man. If you know what it takes to get to heaven and yeah. stay out of hell, preacher. Oh, 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 he said you're gonna be dealt with. Hey. So I'm giving you space to repent. Oh, my God. You knew better. I'm giving you a chance to remember. For which thou has fallen. Man of God. I'm giving you time to do your first works. Because if you don't, or else I'm coming quickly. To remove something. That's the preacher's word, man of God. And part of them strikes may be something he take from you. Wow. He says a chasing another Lord. The beatings are chastened. Bring up. And sometimes you're chasing you by start taking stuff that you want to get your attention. Because when you had that, you wasn't praying. Like you did when you first met. When you got that, you stopped fasting. When you got that, your heart got wrong. Come on, Come on, man of God. He said the beating is going to come. Many, it's many strikes. And many strikes can mean many years. Oh, of chastening. Oh, Boys, quiet, sister. Oh, oh, many years of going oh, through. Because you thank God, Lord. I got you. Got my attention. God said, No, you don't. He said, Because I, He said, I know if I bring you out now, you still go through the same thing. I'm gonna keep you beat for a long time. Until I know you got it, you got it right. Till I know it, 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 it rung a bell. See, a lot of us think we, we got it, Lord. This is to get me out of this, God. I do right. And God knows if I get you out of this, you're going to go back to whole mongrel and shack it and do the spanky leg, the funky leg, and everything else, leg. Well, and strife might be your affliction. He taming you until he tame you. For your relapsing. Yes, Wilfully sinning. Wealth of the sinning. He said, I ain't winking at it no more. 
In other words, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't I'm not, I'm not uh, putting a blind eye to what you're doing. He's not yep. commanding you now to get rid of it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm giving you a chance yes, yes. for I start removing. Before the minute strikes come. Wow. I, I'm giving you a chance to get this thing right. right. Rev, you preach this word, man, that God. That's it. Why is it God said, I got to correct you? Because God said it disgusts me. Whenever you start relapsing back to your vomit. Ah. Hebrews 10 and 38 said, For the just shall live by faith. faith uh -huh. But if any man draw back, back Rev. my soul hath no pleasure in him. Rev. Pleasure. While you shouting and dancing, right. God said I ain't pleased with you. You drew back to sin. Why? Why? He said, I'm disgusted with you. My soul have no pleasure. That's why he said, he said, when you worship me, he said, your worship going to taste lukewarm. I got to spew it out. He said, I have no pleasure in your worship. It stinks. It's nasty. It's distasteful. It's disgusting. Well. That's how purity is, man. Yes, 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 yes. We want that purity, man. God drew back. You drew back, and I, I, my soul have no pleasure. No pleasure, man, of God. In them that drank. Tell my same folks. Right, man, God. That went back and relapsed. No. And while you praying, God move. God move. Wow. God said, you just don't understand. I have no pleasure in your prayer. Oh, my God. Come on. The scripture says, he that closes ears to the law of God, his prayers is an abomination. God said, your prayers even stink to me. Your prayers are disgusting. Because you won't even obey what I told you to do, but you want me to bless you. He said, you're disgusting to me. You're going back. I got no pleasure in your blood. You're relapsing. Hey. And we want to hear about cars and houses. Why God said, I have no pleasure in some folks. Yep. Have no pleasure. All the way, God said, I'm going to get pleasure back into you again until you repent. 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 Boy, y'all don't get, see, they're preaching this stuff. No, no. We ain't preaching this. Because they got a new car and they think God blessed them. Wow. They think God is pleased with them. Because God gave you a car, don't mean he's pleased with you. Because God gave you a new house, don't mean he got pleasure in you. He ran on the just as well as as the answer. That don't mean God's pleased with you because you got a new car, a new house, a new wife. And these folks think that they, they close to God because he blessed me with a house. That don't mean God, God can still say, my soul have no pledge in you. But drawing back on me. That same rain. Oh, the the same day. Day. This generation got it mixed up. If I got a new house, I got money in the bank, that means I'm in the favor of God. Hey, that don't mean you're in the favor of God because you got all that stuff. Come on. Come on, Rip. That's atheists got all that. Right. Two. Come on, preacher. You better make sure you're still in the favor of God. It's his soul displeased with you. Boy, I know it's his soul. Uh, well, he said, My soul have no pleasure. No, ple no pleasure in him. No rep, zero. The Bible says, I take pleasure. He said, I, de I delighted in the prosperity of my service. God said, I can't prosper you when I have no pleasure in you. You'll be stuck where you are for the next 50 years. Because you won't repent. Come on, God. Oh, it's quiet over here. See, people love they sin. God said, you love that sin the most? Go ahead and keep it. While you're doing it, I'm keeping all this that you should have. I'm keeping all the benefits and blessings. I'm going to let you struggle like that. Go ahead and struggle. But after a while, something else coming worse than the struggle. Correction. Correction. Well, come on. Be with many strikes. Because my soul have no pleasure. I, 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 I read a scripture this morning. I, and I wrote it down. It says, it's in Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 19. It says, thine own wickedness shall correct thee. Oh, man of God. What? Watch this. And thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and better that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God. And that my fear is not in thee, said the Lord. He said, it's wicked, it's evil, and it's bitter to relapse and yeah. backslide. Oh, and he said, your own sin going to reprove you. It's that beating. God said, it's time to come back to me. Yeah. God said, you can't play with me like you play with toys. And, 
video games. You can't start this over and, 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 and start from the beginning. God said, no, you in this now. You got to stop where you are and pick and, and pick up the pieces where you are right here. God said, it's wicked. You're going back to stuff I brought you out of alone. It's wickedness. Wicked, you sitting there looking at lesbian videos. Uh, it's wicked at heart, man. Wow, at heart. What's the problem? At heart, man of God. It's wicked you sitting there watching women dance. Right, man. And they ain't dressed right. Yeah, bring this word. Boy, I can't get no preacher. Here now. Bring this word. Come on, man of God. It's wicked to be looking at men that ain't dressed right. Yeah. Come on. It's wicked to do evil stuff when everybody gone. Wow. Skeleton preacher. Skeleton. Come on, man. Skeleton. Come on, man. Hey, come on, man. God, God. you relapsing back. I hope they hear me out there. Because, see, this right here going to get your blessing right here. That's it. These supposed to be lying to you. Just give her, give her offering, show a seed. You know, you need more than a money seed. Your heart got to get changed before God can really bless you what you want to. Stop letting these folks lie to you and tell you, God, it's okay with you long as you sow a seed. He no. just said, my soul have no pleasure no. in them. No pleasure. He that didn't prepare his heart to do what he knows he should be doing. Man. On that day, he's going to receive many stripes. Oh, yeah. And you mean to tell me God is pleased with, with, with us just doing? See, somebody got a hold of some bad doctrine. <laughs> somebody told you they take all that and you start believing that. Hey. And your heart start departing from God. And then you come to church questioning your pastor because you heard somebody that had no discernment tell you a lie. Right. Well, nine times out of ten, Paul was a sinner. If you are a backslider in heart, come on, Rip. God said your own your own sins is about to repent because it's evil and it's bitter. Apart from God, I know it's the word. Yes, yes, man of God. It's the Lord said, I called your servant, yes, God, to get people's heart back right with me. Hey, Rip, that's it. And he said, sometimes it causes pain. It causes people to be offended. It causes people to be angry with you. Because when you're dealing with the heart, then you're dealing with something personal. But God said, I called you to put that heart back in place. He said, I want to see your heart back in place. He said, because a lot of y'all don't have a heart for me like you used to have. You don't have a heart for me. You don't have a heart for me. You don't have a heart for my presence. You don't have a heart for my love. You don't have a heart for my word no more. You don't have a heart for it. It's evil to depart. That's why Ananias and Sapphira died. Oh, well, that evil unbelief in that heart. God established an order in the church. Sell what you have and bring the goods to the apostles. But they kept that part of the price as a sign and believe. Rep, see? I, I believe. Rep. Oh, God. Come on. Jesus. Come on, please. And they lost their lives because of unbelief. Oh. I know it's all right. Somebody about to hit this house in a little bit. Hey, come on, man. Y'all just get ready. Wow, really? It's time to get this thing right. Stop coming to church. Your whole day right. Just stay home. Right. Woo. Come on, man. Yes, What's quiet on me here? Come on. God said, I'm about to start blowing. What are you putting your security in other than me? Oh. God's I'm about to psh. Come on, preacher. That thing is called you to make you backslide. Right, you didn't get that week till you got that job. Right, yeah. You wasn't that week till you married that woman. On, you didn't get that week till you married that man. On, What's pot here now? You didn't get that week. You didn't get that arrogant till you got that car. Oh, yeah. I can't get nobody. Yours pot up in here. Cause I'm about to start blowing that stuff that's causing you to fall. I'm about to blow this shit to God. I'm about to blow this. The wind is over the blood, shred the Lord. I'm about to blow God so you don't repent. I'm about to blow God. I'm about to blow. Yeah. 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 Come on, man of God. Come on, man of God. Come on, man of God. Idolaters was killed in the wilderness. Boy, I can't get no help back there, y'all. Come on, man of God. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Your own sins is about to ring your own neck. Wow. Your sins about to ring you. 
many beatings. That's why you're not healed yet. Because you ain't repented. That's why he said, go and sin no more. Let some worse things happen no. on you. Because the reason why it's getting worse is because you're still sinning. Oh. Folks will go down. They will go down to the flow sinning. Oh, God said stop sinning. I'll help you. They don't want you to stop that. So they, 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 they will go without food. They will go without ability just to please themselves. Well. Boy, I'm quiet over here. Yeah, I know it's gonna get quiet. That heart gotta come back. That heart gotta come back. You gotta get clean out. That heart, listen, we're gonna tell you, when your heart was right, you didn't let nothing interfere with your God. Hey! If it was in my way, I could what you telling me. I, but, but, listen. Hey, real! Okay, how much money you gonna tell me? Right! You gonna give me? Right! When it came to God! Hey! Real! Preach up! Ain't no job, wasn't no woman, wasn't no circumstance, wasn't no car, wasn't nothing gonna cause you. Amen. The part from the living God, when you was first saved, when you first got delivered, but we got too comfortable with God, and now look at us now. Yes. We have people right. Pastor, that's it. Man of God, that's it. And we drip it to a point that we don't feel nothing. Yeah. Got complacency with God, man of God. That's it, Pastor. So when you lost your, when you start getting this complacent and that's indifferent, you know what that means, right? Indifferent means if I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. If I'm late, I'm late. If, I'm, if I am, I am. I ain't, I ain't. If I come, I come. If I don't, I don't. Come on. Man, I got, man, I got. Your heart come back to is an evil spirit of unbelief. I know y'all hear me. Yeah. I'm not preaching for eight men. I'm preaching to get that heart straight. Hey, well, that's it. I want that heart ah, back alive. Hey, I read in Galatians chapter 4. Uh -huh. Chapter 4, verse 8 down to 9. Uh -huh. How be it then when you knew not God? Uh -huh. You did service under them which by nature are no gods. Uh -huh. But now after that you have known God, or rather are known of God, how can you again to the weak and beggarly elements? Work unto you desire again to be in bondage. Right. Why do you desire right. to be in bondage? Come on, man. Come on, man. They want to go back to Egypt. Come on, man. Come it's on. Some people, I hear you, Lord. Unbelief. Come on, Pastor. See, body, body language. It's deep. Listen, I, I, I read more than body language. Right. I discern spirit. Uh -huh. Come on, real. And there's some people you weak. You barely even coming to church now. Wow. You barely coming to church. Well, come on. It's an indifferent spirit on you now. Wow. Because your heart has departed with us un uh, evil unbelief in, in it. Come on, God. Seeing the day approaching, he said, let us forsake not the assembly. You, when you first got saved, you knew he was coming. And your thought was, God, I won't hope to come out of the church. <laughs> See, you could not wait to get the church hoping to rout your cane. You see that they approach, but you ain't even turn. The Bible said we shall be when he come, we when, when he appear, we shall be like him. As he is, so shall we be. And he that has this hope purify himself, even as he is pure. In other words, when we stop losing hope, when we start losing hope in the coming of God, we start getting unpure. But when you was hoping for that blessed day, you kept your heart right. Because it can come at any moment. We was holy. We were sanctified. Because we were looking for that blessed day. But when we lost hope, all kinds of unpurities and, and ungodliness start festering in our hearts. Because you lost hope of the return. I know this ain't no shouting message. It's an eye open yes. message yes. to let you know why you why you desire to go back yes, Lord. to that field. Yes. Boys, quiet on this first lady back there. Y'all all right back there? He said they're relapsing back to old stuff. Your spirit ain't even right no more. Your spirit ain't even, it's just when you come around certain people now, you don't feel a genuine spirit no more around you. You can feel this, you can feel that distance because they're relapsing. 
they, when, when you start relapsing, you start backing up yeah. in the stuff you can't, that you left before. Yes. You're going back into it. And the more you do that, the more you're backing up from the saints. Because saints are pure. Right. Saints are holy. Right. You don't want to be around nobody holy. Because you're playing in filth. Oh, I wish I could. Talk about See, this generation can't take no strong. Well, I wish I was back. I wish I was preaching back in the 70s and 60s. Well, that's when both people hearts was melting. See, this generation now is so stubborn that it's hard to get that word through. But he said, keep preaching it. He said, keep preaching it. He said, you ain't going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to convince that heart. Keep preaching it. He said, I'm going to pray. I'm going to preach it. I'm going to do it. Back in the day, boy, we hear a word like this. They couldn't wait to get to this altar. They'll come down crying with their hands lifted. Oh, y'all better hear me. They'll come down with pinning and confession and heart. They're going back, Sister Linda. They're going backwards, Minister Gaisha. They ain't going forward, they're going backwards. Oh, no such thing as being stagnant no more. If you, the, the, listen, the Bible the really is speaking about being stunned, but they don't last long. Either you're going backwards or you're going forward. It's the Pope's going backwards, Sister Linda. They're going backwards. You're not going forward. Oh, God, y'all hear me. Because you love your sin too much. You got to listen. Let me tell you. The word the Lord spoke to me one time a while ago. He said the reason why people have not stopped sinning because they have not fell out of love with it. So when you fall out of love with something, it don't bother you no more. When you got, when you fell out of love with Johnny, Johnny can't make you cry no more because you ain't in love with him no more. You can't move your emotions no more because you're not in love with him no more. You can say what you want to say, but it don't bother me no more. I'm not that close to you like I was. I don't have no covenant with you. I'm not connected to you no more. Ah, y'all better hear me. And that's what sin does. When you connect it to sin, you love it, baby. I can't hear no you can't get away from it. You gotta stay around it. Yeah, you have not fell out of love with your sin. That's why you can't stop. You can't help nobody that still love their sin. Right, preacher. Come on, man of God. Boy, can I just take my time? Yes, you can, preacher. You can't you can't help nobody love what they're doing. If you still in love with Mr. Sin, then you want to have an affair. See, when you love sin, you have an affair. Because if God redeemed you and saved you one day, he purchased you by his blood and you became his. But if you sin it, you are, you are now serving your master, the devil. And you are having an affair on your God. And he called you an adulterous generation. Adulterous generation going after another God but him. Oh, I can't, can't get nobody. These saints, so-called saints, having an affair on God. Part-time lover. Why is it part-time? See, because your sin gives you the pleasure when you want it, but then when you want God to do something for you, then you pray to him. Heal my body, God. Heal my body. Heal my body. But you can't stop playing on what sin. God said, why are you having an affair on me, but you want me to help you? Boy, it's quiet. It's quiet on me, preacher. My guy is in there. I know what I hear. I ain't backing up. From. I got, listen, before I take it back, I got a whole lot more to add to it. I got a whole lot more. I got number Bible for you. Hey. Listen, number scripture. I ain't got no number. I got number scripture. I got you number for the of God. Come on, somebody. Hey. That's it, bro. Come on, bro. God said, I'm giving you space to repent. I'm giving y'all out there space in that camera. YouTube lens. I'm giving you space to repent. Preachers. Bishop. Stop relapsing, Bishop. Oh, all the man can't. Come on, bro. I have no pleasure in you. 
Uncle, how many sermons you preach? Wow. Uncle, how many lies, how many devils you cast and how much you prophesy? God said you're going to be prophesying while I still have no pleasure in you. I'm just using you for the people at the wow. moment. Not because you're something special. I got to use you for them. Can I get a witness here? God is quiet. Have hey, you prophesied in my name? Have we not cast out there? Wow. Yeah, you did it, but I had no pleasure in you because I did not know you. What, real? You still in love with that feeling? Uh -huh. You still in love with that emotion? Uh -huh. You still in love with that breakup? Uh -huh. Boy, come on, you still in love with it. That's why you can't break it. Uh -huh. And you can't leave self abuse alone because you love it. Love it. Real. Wow. Boy, oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, oh. Teach it. They ain't fell out of love with it. Come on. They ain't fell out of love with lesbianism. lesbianism. They ain't fell out of love with homosexuality. You still love it. Man, God, it's in there. James it's giving you pleasure. You love it. You love it. So you relapse it and cheating on your God for an, to have an, a love affair with pleasure. Real. Making yourself an enemy to God. Oh, I can't get Real. it. Come on. They going back. Come on, man of God. They going back, Sister Linda. Wow. They going back, Minister Kesha. They going back, Minister Kesha. Come on, preacher. They going back, First Lady. <laughs> to what they came out of. Oh. By they coming to church, they all the way back in it. Oh, oh y'all better. If you were dangerous, you were dangerous somebody to go back to something that God brought you out of. You are undoing something that God had done. He he, he hid your past, but you went back to find it. Come on, somebody, he threw this in the seat of forgiveness, but you go in that seat to find it, to go back into it. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Well, you put yourself at risk. You putting, you going back to something that he died to bring you out of. And gave you power to stay away from. Oh, because Second wow. Peter chapter 2. Okay, okay. It's in verse 20 and 21. Say, for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world, to the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Rip, the knowledge. Come on. They are all getting entangled therein. And overcome, watch this, in the latter. Latter. It in is worse than the beginning. Rip. You have all this knowledge about how to live right, wow. and you go back into it. The Lord, your backsliding days is going to be worse than your sinning days. Oh, oh, it's quiet. See, the backslider receives more stripes than the sinner does. Because oh, yeah. the backslider got knowledge in sinning, while yeah. a sinner is sinning and don't know what you know. Oh, yes. oh, yes. he, he knew the will. See, first you were a sinner, now you're a backslider. Uh -huh. And you're doing what you did when you was a sinner. Real. But then you're doing it with knowledge. You see the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You got knowledge in what you're doing. Oh, that's why he said the latter end is worse than the first. Many stripes. Real. At first it was few. Real. The sin had few. But the best out of how many? Wow. Man, that's why so many folks left here. And you and D money stuff. Uh -huh. Some of the folks need to stay away. Yes. Yep. Wow. Because the latter end is worse than the first. I had already had a hard time getting you delivered when you first was here. And you left to come back. It might even be hard. Y'all quiet. Say it. Can't get nobody. That's Say preaching. It. Say it there. Yes, he said. Yes, he said. Yes, he said. Yes. 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 Well, wow. the latter end is worse than the first. Yes, Y'all better hear me tonight. Yes. That's why it's harder now to get folks delivered. Well, because they keep going back. Best fathers keep going back to their sinner days. And then coming to the prayer line, it's getting harder to pray you through. He said, boy, it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the way the holy commandments delivered unto them. It's better for you have not, to have not even known he came to this church. Come on, man. It, was it was better for you not to come to this prayer line. That's right. 
than to go back out there. And that demon is worse on you. That alcoholic spirit is coming back on people. The lustful cravings has come back on some people. Can't even cooperate with the will of God because you've been entangled again. I know what God told you. I don't know what you said. Come on, man of God. Come on, man of God. It was no strength because you got no. See, your, see, sin takes away your confidence. You won't be able to lay hands on the sick because your sin makes your conscience. It do. It do. Come on. Shot yeah. well, I'll pray for my own help yeah. because I, I feel like I'm in a battle in here. Come on, man of God. Come on, preacher. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You won't pray because of sin. Wow. You hide because of sin. Adam walked out. Yep. Why you hiding, Adam? Why you got fig leaves on? Wow. Who man told God. you you was naked? Yeah. You didn't know nothing about nakedness till you fell. Remember, See, sin to bring dimensions out of you that you didn't know was there. Sin to make you conscious of things that you didn't know you was conscious of. You didn't feel that way till you started sinning. You weren't trying to hide from the pastor when he saw you in the grocery store. Uh, when you wasn't sinning. Boy, it's quiet on me. Well, I thought you're hiding from me. Sin is making you hide. Sin will make you hide. Man, boy, I think I... You're entangled. See, entangled means you can't get out of it. It's some folks entangled in some stuff in here. And out there. Entangled. You've been playing in it so long until that well got you. Because you've been playing with... You've been relapsing. Man. Come on, speak Holy Ghost. Come on, preacher. The Holy Ghost said to tell some of these men that's listening to me and out there too, keep your eyes on your own wife. Oh, Rep. Man, of God. Man, of God, tell it. Rep. Come on. Uh -oh. Come on. Man, of God, tell it. Tell oh, well. it. Hey, well, hey. Pastor, I see women every day. Of course you can't help but see them, but I'm talking about the way you see them. Hey, right. Ah! Come on. I see you. 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 But I ain't talking about this. this See, looking at you, seeing you. I'm talking about looking at you. Oh, it's a different. Y'all, come on. Well, I, I thought I had. Y'all drowning out on me. The Holy Ghost just getting started. Come on, You entangling that lust demon again. Oh man of God. Come on, man of God. Man of God. Probably shout Sunday, probably. Come on. But right now, I got to get your heart back in line. Come on. Got to get your heart back in line. Your heart is out of order. You're back entangled in that stuff. On, he says, man. better for you have not to even come to the truth oh my God, Jesus. than to sit here and go back to that. Can I get some help? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, people. <laughs> you did run well. Uh, uh -huh. You was doing good. Paul told us that lesson. You did run well. Uh -huh. Right. Wow. Who hindered you? Come on, wow. that, you should not, that you should not obey the truth. See? Who? Who? He said, Who? 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 Not wow. Was it your husband? Real. Did your husband hinder you with his complaints? Uh, Did your wife hinder you with, with her sympathy? Hey, real. Come and, her, on. And, her, and, her, and her dislikes? Who? Wow. Who's quiet on me I'm now? Who got in your heart to start changing it? Real. And start putting unbelief in her? Wow. My God, sister, I can't get no help. I don't care about them getting quiet. I'm still going to pray. Hey. Come on, preacher. Who, who, who was whispering in your ear? Yep. Who? Who? You was running well. You was growing. Wow. You, you was excelling. Hey. Watch this. What got hindered your growth? Who hindered your growth? Man of God. Who told you it was okay to put on that skirt that's too tight? Who told you to put on that 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 white beater shirt? Real. Real. Not what. Who told who? Who told you it was okay to dress like that? Wow. Not understanding certain clothes attract spirits. See? And that's why we preach against it. Who told you that you don't have to dress like that and look like that? Who? You was doing well. That's why I told you yeah, it don't take all that. And you saw relapsing back to old clothes. That God once delivered you out of. Now here you are spotting your flesh with them old garments. Hate them garments. 
performance. Real? Come on. Still got them club clothes that you ain't got rid of. Who told you to keep that? Come on, my nigga. Real. Man, come on now. Who told you that? Hey, he asked the question. Who? You did run well. Come on, He admit it. You was doing I saw you growing. Wow. Yes, Come on. Your testimony had purpose in it. Wow. Oh, you had genuineness in it. Oh, but I saw a scene of decline. Something got in you. Somebody got in you. Who? An opinion got in you. A persuasion got in you. Come on. They pulled you away from holiness and sanctification. You took off that hole of the dress and put on tight pants now. Again, again, again. Wow. And the reason, one reason why you, no, I'm trying to get done. Red preachers, what? One reason you got hindered because you never really was convinced. Rep, that's it. Because when you convince, nobody can hinder you. You know this is right, don't you? You know this is right. Hey, I tried it for myself. And I found out he's a keeper. He's a keeper, man, that guy. Yes, sir. There he is. But now here they are, relapsing. Right? Back in the old field. field. Come on, back in eating that old vomit up. Come on, man, that guy. Why are we back in the old mud? After the knowledge, he's woo. Letting them demons play with you. Shando. Shando. He come up. Shando. Shando. See, balling in that filth, and that's when you start dealing with demons now. Because pigs like filth. Pig spirits. Now you love filth. Now you're in demonic stuff now. Your flesh and your backslide has led you to demonic spirits. Unclean thoughts. Real. Boy, y'all quiet. Hey, it's real. Real. Wow. You allowed that temple to get filled back up with junk. After God cleaned you up, you came through this prayer line, got all that junk out you, went right back out there again, and picked up them same spirits. The same spirits. Y'all, you relapsed back in those same old spirits. Come on. You had a shout, you had a dance, it didn't take long for the Holy Ghost to move. But now you're dealing with demon spirits now. You're dealing with fleshly stuff now. You don't feel God. All you got is a body movement, but you don't got no spirit. You got bodily exercise, but you got no power movement. Ah, because you've been standing still. You still stay with the murder of sin. When you come in the presence of God, why are you seeking it quick, sir? Why are you in the presence of God? You're you raising your hands and we tell you, see, see a lot of these people raising their hands and praising, it's not because they love God, it's a desperation to help me. Because they know they seek it in sin. They know they're about to lose it, it's a desperation. Some of that screaming ain't because you got the Holy Ghost, it's because you're crying out for help. And I get away, you're seeking it in the quicksand quick of sin. You think you, if you got no deserve it, you think they praise it, but they're crying out for help. They're crying out for help. And when I go home, I know what I'm going back to. I'm seeking it in this house, I'm seeking it in this. You think it's a shock? It's not a shot of victory. It's a shot of help, man. I'll see Kevin Shad. Come on, man, God. Come on, man, God. Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
chapter 11. Uh, come on. More words. Verse 24 down to 26. Uh -huh. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, uh -huh. he's walking through dry places, dry places. seeking rest. Uh -huh. When you got delivered at this problem, and that spirit left you. Uh -huh. And they know I couldn't jump on nobody else around you. Come on, come on. Because there's too much glory in this house to jump on anybody else. Uh -huh. So when that spirit got off of you or came out you, because uh -huh. they could be on you or in you. Uh -huh. So the unclean spirit, see, if you got the Holy Ghost, he can't possess you, but he got a strong influence on you. It's influencing you to do stuff you shouldn't be doing. Oh God, so when that spirit come off of you, he said it walks in dry places seeking rest. See that demon found rest on you. When you were lusting, it found rest on you. When you were sitting there looking at stuff you shouldn't be looking at, it found rest on you. That devil was comfortable on you. That's why you by God, you come to church to get comfortable and can't move. It's because a demon might be sitting on you. You want to raise your hand because that demon got comfort on you. You want to jump up and shout because maybe show got a hold on you. It's got a rest on you. Ah, you sit there and look like you're not at church. Because the spirit got a rest on you. Oh, ah, but God said when that spirit come off you, it's smoking uh, through dry places. Uh, Sing it around. Preach it, Preach it, Lord. Lord. Come on, girl. It's looking for, it's, 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 that spirit is uncomfortable because they don't got a body to lean on. Or to live in, or, or to be on. And so when they come off, you come to the prayer line. And the power of God used me to get that spirit off. My God, that spirit come off. And now it's restless. I took it away from his home. Now it's stretching. It's seeking rest. My God, I better hear what I'm saying. He said he walking through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none. Watch this. He said, look here, the first thing a demon going to do, when it leaves your body, it's going to find rest. And when he can't find rest, he will come back to what he rested at before. That devil on his pillar back. God said the devil on his pillar back. He want his pillar back. He want to rest on your step the Lord. Y'all better hear what I say. He want to find his bed. He want to find his comfort zone. He want to rest on your bed. Y'all better hear what I say. First thing he does, trying to find rest when he can't find the rest outside you. I will return to my house. Once I came out, he said, you belong to me. He covered that. See, some of these demons, you play with them so long. I tell you, they know you belong to me. I understand about the blood of Jesus, and I understand he purchased with his blood, but you belong to me. That's what the devil thinks. That's because you played with him so long. You gave him the right to say that. That I get away. I'm going back to my house. I'm going back to my house. I found rest in that house. I found rest in that house. They didn't pray and rebuke me. They didn't pass and pray. Ah, they just live how they want to live. I found rest in that house. They didn't rebuke. They didn't burn. They didn't Catch me out! Huh? I wanna go back down! Y'all better hit my number go back down! Yes, sir! Come on! Yes, sir! Come on! 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 Come but that spirit got a rest on him. He know if you come down to this prayer line and get prayer, you ain't for the keep it. He know the only, listen, the only way you're going to keep it is the, uh, it's for the two hours we're in this building. Because we're in the presence of God. But he know when you leave here, you ain't for the keep this deliverance. So I'm coming back. I got confidence. I will come back to my house. I know they're going to let me back in. How do you know it? Because I did, they did the last seven times. Huh? Come on, somebody. The last seven times they let me back in. I'm sure I can come back in again. Wait till they leave the absence of the members. I'm going to put them right back on that phone. Right, pull that mess back up again. And I'm going to come right back to my house. As soon as they, as soon as they pull that wealth side up, oh, I'm coming right back. Hey, I'll be back. Real. Come on, my God. Real. My God, I can't. 
they gonna relapse. I know they're gonna relapse. I'll be back. I know they're gonna relapse. It's sad when the devil know you like that. Right in a God. Right in a God. Yeah. He's like a roaring lion. As a roaring lion, he's seeking who he A lion have confidence. Yes, sir. If he know he can get you, he got confidence. Some of this, this devil got confidence on some of y'all. Yeah. He knows that. He know when you leave that presence of the dead church. He know. I'm coming back now. Watch this. I'm, I'm so confident. Until listen, you made my home so comfortable. It's time for to bring some other brothers with me. Cause I told them about that. I told them how comfortable I was with you. Real. Real. Hey. I'm gonna bring some other folks back. It's a, listen, watch this. The devil say, the demon say, there's some other spirits in dry places. I can only take six because I'm one of the seven. I can only find six. You, 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 you. Come on with me. I know a place you can rest at. Hey, real. That's hey. He gonna come by himself. He bring us six more plus himself. Hey, my man of God. Y'all quiet on me. Real. Wow. I know they're gonna relapse. Come on, y'all. Just get ready. And they're gonna open the door as soon as they, as soon as they, look, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Hey, look. Hey, real. And I'm gonna bring them. Sin opens the door. Real. Y'all, I'm not done yet. I'm y'all just hold on. Sin opened the door. You can't, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm struggling. Yes, you do! Sin! I'm not standing in nothing. You liar. They don't want to tell the truth. Real? What you been looking at? Huns and buns. Huns and buns. Pegs and legs. Toes and horns. Right. At night. We got quite a on the toes and horns. Hey, speak how to go. Cheeks and beaks. Hey, real. Hey, as soon as you open yourself up, right man of God, he gonna whistle through the Hey, whistle. Hey, come on. Yeah, they watch it. They ain't running. They walk. Wow. They know you for the closing of time. So you know why? Watch this. They walking because they know you waiting to get to church next Tuesday. So I can get to church. I know I can get delivered. So here it is. It, it's just, it's just, it's just Saturday. Where, where, oh. So they know you waiting to get to church Tuesday. And Tuesday, four days away. I'll take your time. Come on. Yeah, they yep, they walk. Come on. Hey. They not even on Sunday, man. Not on Sunday yet. Hey. 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 Here they are. Real. Hey. Cause you relax. Yes, sir. Y'all don't have to like me. Yes, and amen. And then he said, and when he coming, cause he's coming. Yep. Right. Y'all don't realize, you understand something, first lady. You see, when you come down to this prayer line and get all that prayer and all that stuff, get out of here. Satan is coming. He's coming. And you know what the Lord just told me? He already came to some of y'all already. Wow. Okay. And when he coming, he find it swept and garnished. Ain't nothing else added to it. Wow. You ain't built no strength in prayer. Real. Look, watch this. It's no word in you. It's cleaned out. They shouting with an empty spirit. It's hollow. Speaking in tongues with an empty spirit. Then replace. Watch this. That junk that came out of him was not replaced with the word of God. With fire of God. So he coming. He found it swept and gone. They fasted. They cleaned themselves out. Ah, well. Oh, man of God. That's why I told you. Don't fast and don't be serious. Because when you come up there fast, he's coming. Why? Because you empty now. You clean. Boy, it's quiet. No, they off the fast now. Ain't nothing else to put in them. Listen, their stomach's still empty. And while they was fasting, they really wasn't praying. They wasn't reading the word. Oh, man of God. Boys quiet on me. They fasted me out. They fasted oh. I left them. But that's okay. I'm going to leave. I'll be back. Go ahead and storm me out. I'll be back. 
That's what the devil is, the devil is saying. See, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't eating no food, so I, I don't want to sin. I have no desire for it. But I know when they come off of it, they ain't going to be serious. I know they, they ain't going to live holy for what they did while they was on it. So it's okay. Go in the fast. Get done. Get done. Get You done? You done yet? Oh, are you oh, you wait the 12? Oh, okay. As soon as 12 o'clock wow. come on your third day. You in your bed. Come on, man. Come on. Real. You relapse that quick. That as soon as you got off the fast, you went back to carnality. Real. I'm, man, I got he, he you. It, man, I got I'm getting through when I get done. Yeah. Real. yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes, the, he said that when he when he come it, he find it, it swept in corners, then go and he and take it to him, seven other spirits. Uh -oh. More wicked than himself. And they entered in and dwelt there. And the last state of that man was worse. Than See? Okay, would have been Don't play with this. Stop playing this prayer line. Stop playing with fasting. If you're intending to live holy when you come off of it. You don't understand how serious fasting is. When you fast, you're entering into a spiritual zone. Your flesh is weak, but your spirit is heightened. Your spirit is gaining ascendancy. And you got to watch what you contact on a fast. When you fast, you are in an elevated place, and Satan is waiting for you to come out the holy place. When you come out that fasting realm. Because he couldn't get you while you was on get it. There. But if you're not responsible when you're off of it, he's coming back with seven more worse than himself. And you wonder why? You, I, you, I, I thought I fast, but I still got this craving. Wow. Because you lost what you gave. You was empty. You was open. You relapsed. Boys, quiet. Relapse back, first lady. After a fast now. Wow. After getting cleaned out. Got worse than the first day. How you worse now than before you was on your fast? Because you played with demons. Hey, that's, that's what it. you did. Real? Hey. Boy, it's quiet on me. Hey, of God. If you got worse after a fast, hey. you played with something. You played with something. Come on. You played with a demon you should be playing with. Come on. While you was on. Oh. Oh. It's something they weren't, they weren't doing right on the fast. Come on. You can't be thinking lustful on the fast. Come on. You can't be looking at naked stuff on the fast. You can't be arguing on the fast. Real. You can't be having sex on a fast. Well, that's not a fast. That's a diet. That's a diet. You can eat good. They've done something wrong. Real. Which gave a demon access. Access on the fast. You don't. No, I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. Listen, on the fast. Hey. And here it is. Now you off of it. And you see when you come off a fast, you vulnerable. Yeah. When I come off the long fast, I'm real weak. Yeah, right. tell you, it's crazy. I'm very weak when I when I come off of it, and I'm vulnerable. It's crazy, man. After I fast 14 days, after I fast 21 days, I come off real weak and hungry. And even after I eat, I'm still weak. Because I, watch this. That weakness show me I've been in a battle. Look, you would think after you eat, you'll get strength. But you still, after you eat, you get, you still weak because you've been in warfare. And let's watch this. That's the time you really got to pray more. After you come up because you are weak from war with a demon that tried to move you off of it while you were on it. The food gave me physical strength, but I felt spiritually weak. The Lord said after you come off the fast, now, you, now your spirit can rest. For warrings with demons that you wouldn't war with before you would eat. Yeah. Yeah. Folks in a weak state going back to carnality in a weak state after the fast. Go and you pray. wonder why you you wonder why you back like you was before you fasted. Real. Go in prayer, Your man. body was too weak to go back to that carnality after that fast. Real. Yeah. Hey. I should write a book on that. Great, man of God. Yeah, I know what I preach. I live what I preach. Yeah. Write that book, man of God. I, 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 I tell her, I say I'm very weak, Real. spiritually weak. Right. 
I got physical strength, but I just, I'm, I'm one. And that's a vulnerable time. And in that time, you don't go back to the life as usual. Hey. God, I feel something now. You gotta, you gotta recover your strength. Or else you're gonna get something seven times more. Than what you got before. Ah, oh, yes, preacher. Come on, Pastor. And this devil said, Look, I'm coming back. I'm gonna make you worse than what you was. And God is saying to the church, Come back to me. He said, Get that unbelief out that evil, unbelief out your heart. He's got you to pray. I'm hot shot. Y'all see, I'm ready to go home. But I'm starting to feel something starting to move. He said in Hosea chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Oh, here's a return unto the Lord your God. For thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. He said, return to the Lord your God. Because you have fallen by your sin. Come back to me. Your sin has called you to fall. But God said, come back to me. Come back to me. Come on. Get out there fall and steady. Come back to me. Come on. Y'all hear me tonight? Come on. So you can't lay down and come to God. You got to get up. Get up. God don't want nobody laying down. Get up. He said, because if you're laying down, you ain't trusting me to keep you from falling. Wow. I'm able to keep you from falling. Check the Lord. Ah, you got to trust me to keep you up. Get a suggestion. Ah, he's able to keep you from falling. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, you know what's so scary? It's some people right now, first lady. It's some people right now stepped out. Uh -huh. Will never come back in. Wow. They play relapse so much. So See, let me tell you what blaspheming of the Holy Ghost means. It don't only mean to speak a word against the Holy Ghost. But blaspheming the Holy Ghost means to keep resisting him over and over and over and over. There's no forgiveness in that. You keep resisting him. You keep telling you to repent. But you're saying no. There's no forgiveness. There's no forgiveness. You keep blaspheming. You keep resisting the Holy Ghost. He said, come out. You said no. He said, stop. You said go. He said, quit. You said, I got to keep doing it. That's a resistance. Come on. That's blaspheming. Why? I ain't saying nothing but your actions speak. Hey, your actions. Your action is saying no. Come on. See, let me tell you something. You got to watch how you resist the Holy Ghost. Because, see, Jesus said you can speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven. But you speak a word against the Holy Ghost, it will not be forgiven. Watch this, see. When you speak against the moving of the Holy Ghost, you are playing around dangerous. You are treading on dangerous territory. Because, see, the Pharisees say, Jesus, you cast out devils in the name of Beelzebub. See, watch this. What Jesus said, by the finger of God, I cast out devils. Now, watch this. It's the work of the Holy Ghost. They cast out devils. But they eluded him casting out devils. The working of the Holy Ghost by the working of Beelzebub. That's blasphemy. You gotta, you gotta understand. You gotta watch what you say in the presence of God. You gotta watch what you tell God when He say come out, and you say no. You are fighting. You are blaspheming. He's convicting you. He's pulling you. You won't come. He says I'm fighting. Well, it's a fight for the God. This is against my word. That's it. Wow. Real. God. And some people won't give up. Mm. They won't surrender nothing. On, You're resisting the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. He said, repent now. You saying no. No. I give you space. You said, mm. Whoa. I don't want to let it go. Y'all tired on me? Yeah. Come on, man, God. See, I know God's working on the hearts. I know he's working on his heart. I know what he's doing right. He has resisting. That's blasphemy. Come on. God said, repent. You say no. God said, surrender. You say, I can't. I won't. Wow. Let me tell you, some folks have got to a point of no return. And they just won't return back. Man. You can see them and say, Praise the Lord. So they're looking at you, at you like you're crazy. Oh, you can say, God bless you. They look at you like you're crazy. You was the one that was the one most shouting, testifying, speaking in tongues. But now when you see them, you bring up Jesus and look at you like you're crazy. Because they have given it to a point of no return. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Y'all better hear me. If you don't hear nothing else, I got to say, Hear me tonight. You better not be negligent in your repentance. If God is telling you to repent, don't be negligent. You better pray. That God don't turn me over. Lord, please, God, don't put me out to a point of no return. I don't want to be around the saints and y'all, you rejected me. I don't want to be sitting in church, but you gave me up. Y'all better do what I'm shot. Come on, man, God. Come on, man, God. 
Christ, some folks have never turned back. Come on, man. Yes. Some folks that left the church will never return again. Turn back, man, God. And that's sad. And he's giving you space. If you don't get it, you're not going to you might not come back to God, not to church, to God. To the living I'm hoping that you'll soon remove from him. him. <laughs> to him, from him, not the church. Y'all see, y'all need this gospel. See, we need nothing but word. You need nothing but word. He said, listen, we so, we so uh, um, bent on the church instead of on God. I'm faithful to the church, but are you faithful to God? Oh, come on. <laughs> come to every time the door opens. But all you do every time we tell you to pray. <laughs> We more loyal to a building and to an organization than we are to the organizer. Preach! Oh, I'm not getting no thumbs up on this one. Preach it! What about God? See, you got to make sure you don't get to a place, and it can happen to all of us, to a point of no return. And see, I'm going to tell you, the beating's going to come after a while. Many lashes. I read it in Hebrews chapter 10. Uh-huh. Verse 24, yes, down to 31. He said, bury, Paul said, bury me a little in my father. In my father's house. I love this father. Yeah. Come on, mother God. He said, Paul said, I will swim, we pres, we'll assume as Paul, presumably, uh -huh, uh -huh. Hebrews chapter 10, uh -huh. of how much saw punishment. Uh -oh. right. Suppose you shall be thought worthy who had trodden on the foot of the Son of God. Real. And has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing. Real. And watch this. It had done despite unto the spirit of grace. You know what despite means? Insult. Insult. Yeah. Here they got saved in the blood that saved them. Now they said, I don't want it. You know what they're doing? Spitting on deliverance. Hey, that's it. That's the insult to God. You're spitting on deliverance. You're spitting on the insult to the blood. Yeah. I don't want that no more. Nope. Really? I don't want that church no more. Nope. I don't want that. I don't want to hear that no more. Well, on the, I that's spitting on the blood. That's trampling on it. That's walking on it. When it should be cleansing you, you walking on it. He says a sore punishment than it was in the days of Moses. To try on this blood. He said it's going to be a worse sore punishment in this age than it was in the law in the days of Moses. Yep. And some people trodden on that blood first lady. Because of the blood. And some of them would not return because they blasphemed. Blasphemy. They spoke a word against the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You speak a word against the Holy Ghost, you won't be forgiven. When they said, I'm done with that Pentecost stuff, I'm done with that hey. deliverance stuff, I'm done with that church stuff, you just blasphemed. Well, well, ain't nothing, I got no more shit ain't nothing to that. Right. I tried that. Come on, to the it didn't work. Power of God. Come on, preacher. Come on, man of God. Come on, preacher. Oh. Shut down the black covenant. Hey. Done despite to the spirit of God. Hey, we have the same black. Don't think it can't happen to none of us. You keep on going back and relapsing in the sin after a while. You ain't gonna want to. You ain't gonna have no mind to want to serve God again. I'm trying to get done. I promise you. Hey, come on, but God put me on a psalm tonight. He said, "You tell him everything I told you to say." Come on, man, God. Your heart. Come on. Then he said, "For we know." Him that had said vengeance belonged unto me. Yeah. I will recompense, said the Lord. I told you. Yeah. He's I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna pay you. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. People. Y'all watch this. This right here should get you. This just right here. Every time I read this scripture, it does something to me. Then the last verse says, "It is a fearful thing oh. to fall into the hands oh. of the living God." He said, your next fall going to be into my hands and not in the sin. See, somebody sinned one too many times and was falling into his hands. He said, before you even fell in the sin, I caught you before you fell in it. Wow! And now I'm going to deal with you. Who can save you from God? Fearful thing. Folks don't fear God no more. They can do what they want to do, say what they want to say, go where they want to go. And no fear. Y'all better hear me. Y'all better listen to the Holy Ghost talking to you tonight. Come on. No fear. No more fear. Fear not him that can kill the body. But Because after they kill the body, there's nothing that they can do. But rather fear him. That can kill both body and soul in him. 
There's no more fear of God. I'm trying to warn y'all tonight. Bring your heart all the way back to God. Before this happens to any of us. Yeah, 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 my shot. Say that you refuse and not him. That's speaking. For they escape not who refused him that spoke on the earth. Much more shall we escape if we turn away from him that speaking from heaven. Hebrews 12 and 25. The Lord said, if you, you, you won't hear the one that's speaking on earth. He said, you won't escape if you won't listen to the one that's speaking from heaven. And Hebrews said, in these last days, he has spoken unto us through his son. Oh, God said to Jesus, hear ye him. You won't listen to this gospel? God. Then you are rejecting the only means to be saved. Boy, how, how are you going to escape if you reject what I'm telling you? Tell you. See, I, I'm preaching because I love you. He said, Peter, do you love me? Yes, I love you. Well, why do you, how do you know? Because I feed. He said, feed my sheep. That's why I'm feeding you tonight. Because I love you. I'm giving you birth after birth after birth after birth. Because I love you. You ain't gonna escape Get that back. if you keep refusing yep. the one that's speaking yes. from out of heaven. Yes. Wow. Yes. Hebrews 10, I'm sorry, Hebrews 2 and 3. Yes, Chapter 2 and verse 3 says, How should we escape uh -oh. mm. if we neglect so great of salvation? Which was which first began to be spoken by the Lord. It was confirmed to confirm unto us by them that heard him. Yes. How should we escape? Are y'all with me tonight? Yes. Yes. If we neglect obeying this, this book, which was first delivered unto the Lord, and then by them that heard him, heard it. Come on. how should we escape if we neglect? Yes, There's no escape. Why is people drowning in sin in church? Why is why they, why their heart departed wow. with an un, evil spirit of unbelief? Because they refuse to they refuse to hear what's been spoken yeah. behind this book. Oh, yeah. well, God, that's it. They listen to a stranger before they listen to their own. Yep, yeah, that's it. Wow, real. He he went to his hometown. As said, if no. though you're not getting what you need from home. Real. Wow. 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 And then the speaker that come in can discern that. You really backing them up. They know you ain't real. They know you backing. Why you sitting there backing them? I know you ain't backing your past. You you refusing the one that's already speaking to you. How you gonna see me? They get this old victim spirit on them, like they being mistreated. Oh, I finally got somebody come help me. Wow. Finally got somebody speaking the truth, and you've been hearing it the whole time. You refusing the one that's speaking from heaven. Because what I speak, they're going to come right behind me. If they're of God, they're going to come right behind me and say some of the same things I've been saying. Vice versa, if I go to his church or that church, same thing. So it's not that you're backing the truth up, you're backing the vessel up. A victim spirit. Wow. You, 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 you neglecting, baby. Come on, y'all better hear me. Pastor, I wish you heard me get done. I'll get done when I get through when I get done. He said, you in this. How should we escape? Wow. Man of God. Your children ain't going to escape if they don't hear it. Your husband ain't going to escape. Your what well, escape what? The judgment and fearful indignation of God. Y'all come on now. If we don't remember how what, from which we are falling, you ain't going to escape. If you don't do your first works over and repent, you ain't going to escape. I'm giving you space to repent, and you ain't doing it. You ain't been escape. Uh, I commend every, every man everywhere to repent. Yeah. You ain't doing it. You're not going to escape. Come on, preacher. Boy, it's quiet. Hey, it's quiet out there. YouTube land too. Y'all quiet out there. I hear you. Kind of turned off on me. Get that heart. Right. And they come back to it when they want it. They're going to come back to it. Come on. They, when they get tired of hearing about them cars and lion houses and stuff. Oh, yeah. 
They didn't know they about to die. A demon about to kill them. They know that that, that message about that house ain't gonna get this demon off of them. They gonna try to find a preacher like me, but too. I can't get nobody. Listen, preacher. I, I went to a preacher and he been tell me about calling houses, but that calling house message didn't get this sex demon off me. I got a sex spirit on me. It's trying to take a hold of me at night. I need somebody with some power to y'all got. Come on, you, you need more than getting, uh, getting buying malls and houses when you get them in warfare. You gonna look for somebody that got some power. Hey, hey. See, I, I don't need a mall. I don't own them all. I can be like Jesus. Go to that man and tell him that the master have need of it. The master have need of this. My God, I'll send you Minister Casey. Tell him go downtown and. And tell them go to that big building down there and tell them the pastor how I needed this building. We gotta let it go because I got that kind of favor. Y'all better do what I'm saying. I'm about to go to sleep and I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, hey! Come on, come on, hey! I know my heart is right. That's it. I can shout because my heart is right. I know my heart is right. I don't got no unbelief up in there. My heart is departed. My God, my Lord, my heart is still in place. It's in the same place it was in. My God, Tuesday night. Ah, it's in the same place it was in last Sunday. My God, you ought to hear me now. Oh, my God. I was there. Night. Night. Hey, God. Ah. hey, come on, preacher. Same place. Ah. Yeah, you better son. hope you ain't moved out to a place where God's out no more. Come it's on. the folks God said I'm done with them. Wow. The Lord said they knew too much. Yep. And I let them go. Yep. They played with me so long, they knew too much. They had too much knowledge about me. Watch this. God said, listen, the reason I'm going to let you go, watch. Oh, God, he said, I turned them over to what they love. And when I turned them over to what they love, they forgot about what they've been taught. Watch this. God said, I'm not going to let you keep all that knowledge about me while you living out there. I'm going to turn you over to a reprobated mind. To do those things that are not convenient. My God, now you're doing things you know. My God, you're praying, unclean. They preaching what a re 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 reprobated mind. They sing it with a reprobated mind. My God, they laying hands on folks with a reprobated mind. They can come and preach on, on Sunday and meet their great baby at the club that same evening. My God, now God, hear me here. My God, they see the shacking up, shacking up, racking up, but still come to church and shout like ain't nothing we wrong. You might have a reprobated mind. Homosexual. My God, lay with me. You a man. A woman lay with a woman. They got the nerve to come to church and speak it. Your mind might be reprobated. And don't feel nothing. 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 That's how I gave it to them. I turned them over to what they love. They played with me in church so long, I gave it to them. And it's sad you sit in this church like this, you can't feel nothing. Twice. Rip the music moving your fast and it works. I hope you ain't reprobate. That means you got a depraved mind. You do stuff, you do you sin, and you don't feel right. nothing. No conviction, no guilt. Just filthy, don't feel nothing. No conviction, no guilt, no con nothing. God said, I gave you. Y'all quiet to me. Y'all gonna, gonna need this one. See, see this word, you go home and dream about this one. You gonna go home and dream about this one because, because see, this is a dangerous hour. You could be turned over. It's dangerous. You can be turned over to something. That's why you can't get out of it. Why? Wow. Oh, wow. oh, 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 really? mm. wow. Well, I read in Hebrews chapter six. Okay. Bible, man. <laughs> That's it. Hebrews real. chapter six, verse four, down to six. Bible says, "For it is impossible to bring back to oh, repentance goodness. those who was once enlightened." Those who have experienced the good things of heaven yeah. and shared in the Holy Ghost. Wow. He said, some folks, it's hard to bring them back. They got saved, filled wow. with the Holy Ghost, uh, have tasted the powers wow. to come, wow. and went back on God. He said, some of them folks will never come back. Wow. He says, it's almost impossible. impossible. It's impossible, not almost. It's impossible to restore such a word back again. Well, 
no matter what you say. Wow. I don't care what you say, what you do. They just won't get it no more because the God said, I gave them up. Man. But the impossible. You know what I heard the Lord say? The Lord said, now, it don't matter how long you've been saved. I can still give you up at an early age. What, what make them give you up? Because you know better. And you keep doing it. You keep playing. Keep resisting the Holy Ghost. That's after a while. I'm going to turn you over to it. Well, there's no chance. So you can pray for them in the prayer line. They go back to the seat like they've done nothing. I mean, you pray hard. God, I do it. Thank you. Wow. You giving them a word from the Lord, they're looking at your fingers. They don't, they, they pass feelings. Yeah. Pass feelings, yeah. They don't feel yeah. conviction no more. Because they play, they, science got sealed. Y'all better, y'all, y'all ready to go home, ain't you? I'm trying to help you. God sealed. Don't, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to help y'all. Stop playing in sin before your conscience gets seared. You don't feel nothing no more. Nothing, man, of God. No shame, no guilt, no You have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the world to come. And who then turned away from God. It is impossible to them to turn away from God. It is impossible to bring such people back to repentance by rejecting the Son of God. They themselves are nailing him to the cross once again and holding him to a public shame. Shame, man, of God. You're putting them back on the cross oh, yeah. and that when you reject the Son. Real? See, I believe in the Son of God. Real? I believe in the whole God here. I believe in every every person of the God. I believe in all of it. You can't have God without the Son. You're rejecting the Son which came to die and give you grace and mercy. You can't be saved. Folks have, have betrayed the blood of Jesus. It's, it's impossible. Because they allow themselves to relapse. Y'all hear? See, this is deep right now. Yes. One word can go deep. <laughs> relapse. Relapse. Wow. And I pray for some people's minds. Make you think. I'm like, God they ain't they even talking right. You're talking crazy. Are you still saved or have God turned you over? Because it looks like you won't quit. Come on, man. First, they can't find the break. They can't. They can't. They can't stop. That's what it is, first lady. It's no restraint. They can't find. They can't seem to find a break to stop what they're doing. Cause God said, I took the brakes off on some people. I gave it over. I turned them over to what they love. Y'all, this is serious. I'm going to tell you, the devil's working on some of y'all in here. Come on, man of God. To get you to this point. Oh, God. How do you know, Pastor? Because some of y'all ain't surrendered everything. Right. All That's all it takes is something you won't surrender. That's it. That's all it takes. Yeah, Give them the access. Send the work book. Man. Quiet on me. I'm trying to get, I promise I'm trying. Rib, I on, promise you I am. Rib, come on, man of God. But I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Come on, man. You keep on resisting the Holy Ghost. Come on, preacher. Yeah. The thought of, see the thought of you not being here is gonna happen. Mm. The thought of not coming no more is gonna happen after a while. Well you think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, Sister Linda. The thought of leaving the church is gonna happen after a while. Well you keep playing. as a man thinking. You keep playing. You gonna leave your cover and keep playing. Don't think you can't. Because the devil got a will to convince you not to come back. Man of God. Boy, it's quiet. So. Hey, see? Got a will of convincing them first lady. Yeah, see? And, and Lord, I'm praying. Listen, some of y'all better be strong because some of your loved ones might walk out. How, how, how will you stay if they leave? Hey. See, some folks ain't even strong enough with the loved one here. Wow. Wow. The devil better try to play some tricks. Or I know hey, tricks are for kids, you silly rabbit. Yeah. Oh. If I can work through my that woman, I can work through you. Yeah. If I can get him out, I can get her out. Rev, Rev, it did it. That devil working. It did, man. It did it. First lady, it's working. Come on, man of God. That devil got a backsliding spirit on some people. Come on, preacher. It's a big old backsliding spirit on them. 
It's an indifferent spirit of coming to church. I'm here, I'm here. If I'm not, I'm not. If I'm late, I'm late. If I'm on time, I'm on time. It don't really matter. I'm coming. I'm really don't want to be there. He's trying to work you. He's been working you over. Wow. I'm, I'm sitting there talking to you. I can't crack the organ up tonight. I got to talk to you. He's trying to work some folks over. Because there's nothing new under the sun. If Satan done it to a million, you might just be the one million in one. Yeah. I've seen it happen. I seen it happen. The husband got the wife out. The husband left. Then the husband got the wife out. And after the husband got the wife out, they both split up. See, you can't preach prosperity unless you get this stuff right. Come on. That's it. God ain't gonna give you no million dollars that he got no pleasure in you. He know you're not enlightened no more. It's impossible for you to be enlightened. Why would he give you his best and his treasures from heaven and there's no more no more grace for you? Your mind is reprobated. You're doing convenient stuff. Why you name in the name of Christ? Man, it's a depart from that junk. Y'all, y'all pay the quiet. Come on, man. I was like, you going to hurry up? I already got it. <laughs> Ripped. Listen, I learned something. Right. I ain't, I, I'm not moved by feelings. Uh huh. I'm trying to help somebody. Amen. That's it. Get your heart right. Ripped. That's it. Come on, Ripped. Man, my Lord. Because if your heart tripped out, tripped out already, don't mean it's right. Because you're doing better. Come on, Rip, Rip, come on. Uh-oh. Rip, wow. Because I'm doing better now. I'm, I'm well. No, you ain't. Wow. You just got a season of just doing better. But you ain't delivered. Delivered. Your heart's still foul. Ow! Oh, 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 still got a foul heart. Oh, yeah, my mother. Because you're doing better. You're looking better. You're talking better. Don't mean you're delivered. Hey. Behavior, behavior do not determine if you've been delivered. Delivered. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Because your behavior has changed. You just got some self control. For the moment. For the moment. If that heart ain't been fixed. He going to come back up. The Lord told me to tell somebody. He said, I'm coming. To, Satan is coming again. Huh? No. He said, I'm coming to try you again. And he's coming to see if there's anything in you that's in him. Come on, man. Come on. He want to see if I left something off in you. Because if I left something off in you, I have a right to come back and try to get it. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Come on with I'm a prophet of deliverance. That's what I do. And that's it, man. That's it. I try to warn you, this devil's not coming back. Come on, son. Man. Hallelujah. And, and the truth is, I hear you, Lord. The Lord said he already came back. Come on, man of God. Come on, preacher. He just waiting for the right moment. Wow. Boy, so, first lady, y'all. Uh, Come on, man of God. Come on, man of God. I'm trying to get through it and get done. I'm not done. This world gonna have to seek. See, the problem is, sister, the, the preachers don't want to feed the word to the people no more. We so want to worry about getting them out of here to get their offering. I don't care about your offer. Your money gonna perish with you if you ain't saved. So I don't care about your money. <laughs> Come on now. There's somebody in trouble, Sister Linda. They'll try to get you out of church. I ain't crazy. I can get up early in the morning, sit on my couch, and listen to him. And the Lord said this. The Lord told me first day, he said, he said, I, I know sometimes, this was hearing, I was hearing this going on in my spirit. I know sometimes it get rough for some people. But the Lord said, if they leave, they won't make it. The Lord said, they're better off staying here giving you trouble than them leaving and following them and finding themselves in the devil's hell. Though they want to leave, they can't leave right now. If they do, they're in trouble. And you might want them to go. God said, no, don't you don't. God said, don't you? He said, shut your mouth, son. Yes, Lord. He said, if they leave, they won't make it. Come on. That's me. I, I can't lie to you like I got it out. Listen, I'm like Moses. There's a time now. I'm a meek man, but that, that, that rock on me. I want to strike it. I hear you, Lord. 
God said, don't strike it. Everybody can't be thrown off the boat right now. Some of them can, but not everybody. Some of them can. Come off the boat. Get out of here. Get out of here. If they get out of here, they won't make it. Are y'all with the preacher tonight? So the safest thing for them to do is stay in this church and keep preaching with patience. Come on. To God to work deliver. And I'm going to tell you something. But after a while, God ain't going to keep tearing. He's going to keep striving. If you don't get it after a while, bye-bye, baby. He's going to turn you over. Y'all with me here? Yes, sir. I think I better wrap this up. Man. Boy, I, I got so much more to get you back. I, I, boy. Come on, I don't know about part two. I got to exhaust what he's saying. Man, listen. We got to make sure we stay rooted. No matter what's going on. We got to stay rooted. He didn't bring me to the church for the enemy to blow me out of it. He didn't bring me here for him to blow me away. He brought me here for the season I'm supposed to be here. But some of y'all playing. God says, stop playing with me. I'm giving you space. He said, right now, it's, it's, it's possible for you to be restored. But if you keep playing, it's going to be impossible. You've been too enlightened. You've been here too long to be like that. Hey, Rev, that's it. That's it. Oh, let me go. Come on, preacher. I'm done. I'm so much more, Lord. I, so much more. So much more. I'm going I'm to. I'm gonna stop. Real. Oh, Real. Come on, man. Of God. I, 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 come on, man. I'm trying to tell you. Amen. Extend us, man. God. Brothers and sisters, please. Come on. Man. Get a hold of the altar of God. I ain't talking about this altar. That's real. Come on. About that heart. The heart. Grab a hold of God. Come on, man of God. Come on. Draw down to God. He'll draw down to you. He said, cleanse your heart, you double mind. Come on. He said, let your mourning, let your laughter be torn in the morning. Good morning. It's time to cry. Y'all stop with all this laughing and joking. You know you're on your way to hell. Real. Boy, come on, brother. Real. You, why are you laughing on your way to hell? About this laughing going down to the hell. Ah. I ain't got time to be joking with you. Real. You in trouble. Hey, turn that thing, man. Let me close the book. Bro, he said, turn that. Y'all, we can't be laughing with folks we know in trouble. Why are you joking with people? You know they're on their way to hell. Hell! Right right right. I don't got time to be joking with folks I know you're in trouble. I'm joking with my own family member. Come on. I got to warn you, it's something about to happen to you. Your heart is departed. Wow. Heart's quiet over here. From the living God? I might have to pick part two of this somewhere. I really do. Relax. Because it's serious. Can I, can I tell you what we're dealing with? In, in, this, in this day, in this age, in this dispensation, can I tell you what we're dealing with? Innocent blood. Oh, real. Every time you sin willfully, you're betraying innocent blood. The Son of God. Oh, hey. Oh, God said you got no favor with me when you're out of favor with my son. He said you can't be good with me if you're out of favor with him. Because I turn all judgment over to him. You got to deal with the son. Y'all quiet. Y'all believe in all three. I believe in all three. Y'all one, but three. Three. Yes. All I know. Jesus is the son of God. The son of God. They got a lie out talking about the body was the son. What? The body was the son and the spirit of him was the spirit. Wait a minute. He was Jesus before he got to that body. That body ain't named Jesus. The body was the vessel. The Bible said, uh, who is this? Uh, 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 the secret disciple. What's his name? Nicodemus. Yeah, Nicodemus and the other one. Joseph, yeah, he, he begged for the body of Jesus. Uh -huh. Right. Listen to the word. He he asked for the body of Jesus. Right. Of, uh -huh. of. Uh -huh. a part of him. A part of him. Uh -huh. That body was a part of him. Real, I got it. Yeah. 
He wasn't begging for Jesus, but he was begging what was of Jesus. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Jesus was out of that body. So he was begging for the part, the, the, the it. He was begging for the it, not the him. The Bible, the Bible said they took it, which is the, the body, they took it and wrapped it. The it was wrapped while the him was gone. Yes, it was. Hey, preach it to the soul. Come on. Come on, Rev. He inherited that name. Real. God gave him a name. Yes, sir. Which is the name of God. He inherited that name. Come on. Gave him a name. Real. Thou shall call his name Jesus. His name was Jesus before he was even born. Born. Jesus. He existed before he got in that body. Real. To prepare thou me a body. Burn offering and sacrifice down the light and not, but prepare me a body. No, I come in the volume of the book, which is written to me to do thy will. The volume, the book is me. Me. Hey, book. hey, well. It is written to me. I am that book. Hey, but ah. And all that I see the Father do, I do it. Hey, well, hey. Come on, brother God. Oh, oh, hey. 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 He told the Lord, Father, prepare me a body. body. I go. Hey, I, I redeem mankind. Woo. Father, prepare the son of God. Oh, sent them down to 42 generations. Found a young girl named Mary. My God, born of a woman, made under the law to redeem us from the law. Come on. Oh. Oh, he, learned, he learned obedience through the death of the cross. Come on. To my dead Jesus. Dead Jesus. And that's who we're dealing with right now. If anybody need prayer for based off what I pr preached about. Come to this prayer line quickly. Come on. Come on. You dealing with blood now. Come on. Come on down or you dealing with blood. Come on. Oh, come on down. You dealing with blood. Hey, some, of, some more of y'all should be down here, but keep playing. Go ahead. Leave this house and keep playing. Come on. I ain't crazy. Come on, preacher. Some of your heart ain't right when you came in here. Wow. Oh, come on. Don't play with this. Don't play with it. I need y'all to talk to the Lord. If you're serious, talk to him. I ain't gonna come down and do no form because of the plan. I just I just come down. No, come down and get right with him. Talk to the Lord. Tell him, talk to him. Tell him, Lord, I betrayed your innocent blood. Lord, I need to restore me. Why is possible? Restore me again. Why is possible? God, bring to redeem it back. God, purchase me back. God, do it. God, bring me back in. I need y'all to talk to him. Open your mouth like you know. Open your mouth and tell him something. If you felt the convicting power of God drawing you down here and you don't come, you might as well be the very one I'm talking about. You might be the very one that we leave and not come back because you resist in the Holy Ghost. My God, I know it. You can, you can cut that camera off now. Come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him.